we on? Yeah, we're, we're rolling. Did now. you see the back of Ben's head, Jays? No. What happened? You can't talk about that. Right <laughs> after you oh, you went. Oh, now I see it. <laughs> I really didn't see it until just now. He fucked up cutting his own hair. Now, God. He, now he literally looks like a lobotomy patient. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's like they tried to cut the racism out of his brain. I was trying to shave that uh, Matrix plug into the back of my head. Can I tell you? It looks for. It looks like it's some alt right thing I don't know about yet. Mm-hmm. Is to plug one fucking bar into the back of your skull yep what, what happened to the guard slip off the or something guard slipped off at, on the in the final the, the little tinder dance i was doing on the back of my head mm. that plastic guard slipped and i gave myself a skunk tail right up the back just in time for the live show in la march 23rd you can't get uh i don't think you can get tickets at the door it's it'll almost be sold, sold out. out by the time you can show up maybe we'll let you in i don't know maybe we'll let you in maybe if you suck got cax i don't even know, know if, if there's enough room for how many we sold It'll be yeah, interesting. It yeah, might be, be a real. Uh, there could be like a fire. A lot of people could die. Could be a real shit show. <laughs> you should sign up for the peak truck because we let them know first, and then it sold out. That would rule so if we accidentally LA. killed 150 people, and it was like a big <laughs> court case. It's like a Travis Scott show. Yeah, it's like a Los Angeles County versus Lemon Party. <laughs> I, I'm just. I'm envisioning the parking lot looking like the the beginning of the way of the gun. Just a bunch of people screaming at each other, telling them that they'll skull fuck their heads <laughs> off. Yeah, Ghost Dog, the way of the samurai shows up. <laughs> Just black autists with samurai swords. <laughs> you know what would happen is there'd be a fire and then there'd be one big guy in the electric scooter who just gets stuck at the door and then that kills everybody. <laughs> he plugs it up and nobody can like get a, out. Like a big cork. Yeah. A human cork. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, and come see us in D.C., Philly, New York, and Boston. The New York and Boston dates aren't up yet. Maybe they are. Check LemonParty.life. D.C. and Philly is for sure up. Maybe they now. are. We don't know. Somebody else posted Philly for us. We didn't even know that was booked yeah, yet. So. I didn't even. We yeah, had no clue. We had no clue. We found the link. Uh, someone posted the link to our Reddit. And I was like, oh, okay. I oh, guess there's I guess, tickets for I guess sale. we're doing Helium. I guess, All right. Yeah, I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> Philly of the day. All right, cool. No, the Reddit is are booking us across the uh, the country, and we have to show up. Mm-hmm. That's good. Whatever venue they put us in. <laughs> uh, but uh, and I want to say one thing quick about the LA show. I know we said tickets were going to be at the door, so I'm sorry if you were expecting to show up and like wait outside, but. We had too much ticket anxiety and emails. People were and people messaging were, us. People yeah. are flying in from Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, you know, people could, are arranging Dude, to be I... out of the prison that one day for like visitation, but they're going to come to the <laughs> yeah. show. There's going to be a guy like Buscemi and Con Air in the chain, just goosh, 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 and the mask on. So retard. So retard. You guys are really doing a show on a Saturday, dude. I'm getting. I'm. The, I have the death penalty. I'm getting killed. <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting killed on Friday. Yeah. Dear Governor, can I watch the Lemon Party show? Then you kill me. You can still kill me. I just want to watch the boys. <laughs> Uh, but if this one goes well, and if it's not a shit show, then we'll do more in LA. I think. Yeah, yeah, it could be. If it's good, it'll be great because then that'll be like our little hub, our mm-hmm. little hub, a little, a little beehive, a little, a little hive. Because it already looks like a like a deranged place. Mm-hmm. It just, it kind of looks like a prison. <laughs> I seen the owner the, uh, last week. I saw the owner of the place pour himself two full glasses of of Kirkland vodka in front of me, and then he just went and sat in front of his computer and just kind of aimlessly typed with no mixer. Just no two mixer. The top. It was literally t- like a, it was a longer glass than this. Like it was way bigger than this. <laughs> like to like the top. this. It this was glass. that. It was full. It was that, but vodka. Full vodka. He did that. that he did that twice in front of me, and I go, I think we might be okay here. That room. I had a I, for a second. I was like, does he know what we do? And then I was like, oh no, you don't even. You can't yeah. hear anymore. I, I do love Hunter S. Thompson being upset at our act. <laughs> uh, God damn it. That's the way you got to drink. You take a nice, tall juice glass. You take something yeah. innocent and you, you, that you that's yep. pure. It yep. should just have orange. There's like mm-hmm. a little painted like grapefruits and like little lemons on it and like blueberries and stuff. Yes. That's, and you fill it up with warm vodka. You drink no out of like a, lem- no mixer. like a lemonade glass that an old lady gives like two detectives that are like visiting her. <laughs> That's you go, what you, you pour yeah, vodka in there, yeah. ma'am. It's uh, awful hot. Can I ch- can I uh, uh, ask you for a whole glass full of vodka? <laughs> hot, heat it up in the microwave. Ooh, make it hot for me. Put a, put a little old school thermometer in it with mercury until that's <laughs> boiling at the tip. Wait for it to pop and then mix that in the vodka. I love that. <laughs> Have, that's the one lemonade actually looks the best. Is when filmmakers are using that yellow the filter. Tall. 
and then like it's really it's really hot but everybody's wearing suits yes and it's the south yeah Mm -hmm. and then a racist old woman hands a man of the law a pig Mm -hmm. she hand she hands him in that in that yellow glass and a a black hand reaches and she slaps it (laughs) she goes no and she hands it over. She does this. She does this like an Italian husband. She goes, hey. Anytime I watch those movies, I'm like, take off the suit jacket. Mm-mm. Did they have to do that they back then? They were so retarded back then. To cool off, they put on another suit <laughs> on top of it. And they go, I don't know what's happening. I'm burning up. Taking out like a like a literal like tar a tarpaulin mm-hmm. like and just wiping their fa- all day just wiping your face. Yeah, with an old like diesel rag mm-hmm. from a mechanic shop. Yeah, I wouldn't have done. I would have said fuck. That. I wouldn't have been a hat guy when it was cool to when you had to wear hats. I wouldn't have done that. Not for a fucking second. I w- Those I hats look retarded were on you, me. You were a hat guy. No, no, no. You know how a pre so John F. Kennedy made it cool to not wear a oh, hat right, when you were right. outside. He like, uh, I guess that was like his rock and roll thing. Is John F. Kennedy didn't wear a hat. Mm-hmm. He was pretty punk rock. Mm-hmm. Heard he had his whole head blown. <laughs> like a G.G. Allen show. Yeah. He should have been wearing a hat. Yeah. Walks out to a hardcore show and just blow, puts a <laughs> rifle in his fucking mouth. People thought he was the devil because he didn't wear a hat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was that was insane to people. I thought he was the devil because he's a, a dirty mick. <laughs> a dirty Irish Catholic bastard, which, by the way, happy St. Patrick's happy Day. Happy St. Patty's Day. Happy the worst, St. Patty's the worst Day. holiday for the worst group of people on earth, the Irish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It fell on a weekend, so a lot of, lot of people will be dead tomorrow. <laughs> Usually it's on like a regular day, I think. Right. So you can only you can't drunk drive that much. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. No people are gonna get that pretty Lindsay crazy. That Lindsay Lohan uh, Irish movie came out today. I guess that had to do something with what the Patty's what day. the hell is that Irish? What is it called Irish Luck? Something. It was on. It's on Irish Wish. It, I saw some, it was on Netflix. I saw some screen cap of it, and she's looking out over these beautiful like Irish cliffs that like like priests push little boys off sure. of. The cliffs yeah. of Dover. That's where they rape the kids. <laughs> and yeah. then they push them yeah. into the sea. They, they fuck them over the cliff and then they just go... <laughs> <laughs> they just, fall like pennies off the Eiffel Tower. Mm-hmm, yeah, they kiss them for luck and then they throw them and they make a wish and, they kick, Woo! and then explodes. Lindsay and Lohan. brandy goes everywhere. Mm-hmm. And Lindsay Lohan shows up in a limo. She gets out, shows her pussy. That's the last thing they see. <laughs> yeah, they go, they go, Lindsay, we want 2009, Lindsay. Bring that heat for us, bitch. She's looking out over like the, the sea foam of, of Ireland, like this these, this beautiful mist and mm-hmm. wide open blue and yeah. like these beautiful green cliffs. And then she loads a bomb into a car and blows up a daycare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the line I saw from the, the screen cap. She goes, ah. she goes, wow, I feel like I just walked into a James Joyce novel. Ugh. A woman who's never every James Joyce novel is about a guy who's like schizophrenic and like is obsessed with like feeding his cat. Well, and that's like why he got she, molested a bunch. That's why she loves James Joyce. She's lived the same life. Yeah, well, she she's watching a man drink a fifth of whiskey and jack off in a field. She's yeah. like, ah, it's like Joyce. It's like Joyce. Oh my it's god, it's crazy. It's beautiful. Lindsay Lohan. I remember like five or six years ago, there was a famous video of her like she was like capturing like a Muslim kid and like we forget that she tried to kidnap tried to a kid, kidnap a child, and she like turned him into an NFT or something. Yeah. Right? yeah, she did. She turned him into like a big monkey with like glasses on and sold him. And a big sailor cap. And a big sailor cap. <laughs> yeah. You know, she was like speaking like fake like Arabic to the mm-hmm. kid, and like the, it was very bizarre footage. She's fucked up. Yeah, she got into Ethereum, I think, just for like human trafficking reasons and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like the, that's the like the that's the cash app of human traffickers. It's like, like prostitutes and like like you know just like low class people. Mm-hmm. Everyone uses Cash App. That you're like, whenever somebody's like, just Cash App me. I'm like, I'm something's up with you. What? Cash app, yeah, cash, cash app. app. People, the the Zell pisses me off. Zell too. So I'm like, I don't want to check my bank account balance. What are you doing to mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. It's a damn shame. You think, uh, you think back during COVID, you think pedophiles were like, like before they molested kids, they were making them like, they're like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick this thing up your nose real quick, and then we gotta wait ten minutes. Oh, they're we, doing we gotta, six feet. We gotta swab you a little bit, and then stand over there for ten minutes and wait for this thing to come back. Mm-hmm. And then little, the what kid, it was an antigen test? Yeah, the kid tests positive and then he fucks him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I'm actually a bug chaser <laughs> pedophile, yeah. That must have been a great time to be a bug chaser was during COVID. Yeah. 2020. So many damn bugs out there. 
That was when you would probably find out if you're a bug chaser, actually. That was probably the gateway. That was the weed of bug chasing for people was COVID. <laughs> now I bet yeah. I bet AIDS has risen post-2020. Uh, 20, I bet everybody's trying to get the HIV now. Yeah. HIV. I bet everybody's trying to get it yeah, everywhere all over the country. There's no point. It doesn't even kill you. Yeah. It's it's actually pretty boring now. Yeah, but I think... See, so here's the, here's the thing about me. I feel like if I got HIV, though, it, I would die. Yeah. You'd oh, go pretty too. quick. Yeah. 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 I feel like I would have, like, I would take the pill and they'd be like, it's, you're one of the eight people it doesn't work you, on for some reason. You figure out your wife is somehow an anti vaxxer <laughs> for the AIDS vaccine. And then you die all crippled up. What if the doctor has to tell me they're like, you're actually so gay that HIV medicine doesn't work <laughs> yeah. on you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're so homophobic <laughs> and gay at the same time that your cells attack your own gay cells. So I did a weird experiment today or uh like three days ago at trader joe's i was walking around okay and i was like this is gonna, you're gonna describe a hate crime <laughs> that you did <laughs> yeah a ben avery experiment yeah mm-hmm. you go i'm looking at trader jose <laughs> ben's in trader joe's just pointing at trader ming and going <laughs> look at it i uh i tried to see if i could gaslight myself into thinking anything mm. so i was like just just gaslight yourself Walk around and I was like, just con- just convince, try to convince yourself you're homosexual. Mm. So I was walking around Trader Joe's. I was like, that guy's really fucking hot. Love that guy's ass. Great legs. <laughs> wow, look at the package on that, dude. I'm like, that guy's looking fucking really good. And I was having this interior monologue for like two minutes. So I'm like, fuck, I love the fuck that guy's ass cheeks. Oh, I let that guy come all over my face. After two minutes, I was like, oh, am I fucking gay? <laughs> I was like, I think I might be gay. I, th- I think this. I think I could be tricked into anything. Mm-hmm. You were really doing this? Yeah, I was really doing it, walking around, seeing if I could convince myself I'm gay. Because if I, th- I wasn't worried about convincing myself I'm actually homosexual. Because if I could convince myself I'm homosexual, I could convince myself I'm not. I could just go back. Right, right, right. You know what I mean, it right. could be like a monkey's paw type thing where you can't go back. Yeah, you're trapped over there. You know, the monkey's paw is jacking me off. That's very good. Yep. Mm-hmm. You're like, I'm too smart to be gay or straight. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm simply retarded. You can actually, I think if someone locked me in a room for like five minutes and just played a tape, like a Guantanamo Bay, like if they the locked me up. The sissy hypno in, stuff? Yeah, I think someone could just convince me I'm a gay guy. Yeah. Because I used to do it as a kid where I would walk around and I became obsessed with religious stuff where I, I would go, uh, I become, I go, I love God, I love God, I love God, I love God. Because I was obsessed with saying I love God because I was afraid that I was actually going to think I love the devil. Mm. So if I kept oh. walking around saying I love God, I would do this all day. I love God. So I you were God, trying, God, to, you were trying to convince yourself you were gay at Trader Joe's because you hate pussy. <laughs> hmm, interesting. I never thought of it that way. I think it was just you're a actually, fun social experiment. I think you're doubly gay. Yeah, you're and I think you gay. need to leave Katie and like <laughs> just come out. No, I think you're it's doubly- like, I'm like a, I'm like a scientist. I'm conducting experiments with myself. You're a scientist. Mm. You, I also, All the great psychologists did it. I hate to break it to you. You also <laughs> suffer from obsessive compulsive disorder. <laughs> It's actually a, a debilitating disease that you have. <laughs> you do. You have unwanted thoughts in. Well, the Coca Cola has the new spice flavor, which I'm really enjoying. <laughs> spice is that what for? Is, it's Dune? got chili in it. Uh, I don't know what's in it. It tastes like perfume. It's really bad. It's like it, George. It's George Clooney. Uh, you know, bought Coke and he's just putting his perfume in it. That's all it is. <laughs> it's Chanel number no. five. You can just you can uh, now take this coke and just sprinkle it on your armpits and you're mm-hmm. fine. You can go on a, d- a date. Uh, but yeah, I did. I, I pretty crazy thing. You I gaslit myself him. into thinking I was a gay guy. You were at Trader Joe's the whole time. What type did you have? A, but but, but I undid did it a, where I was like, I'm not gay. 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 And I was like, I don't think I'm gay. You know what's funny <laughs> is is you telling yourself you're not gay is actually gayer than saying I like that man's ass <laughs> and I want to fuck it. Uh-huh. I, to, I was doing it to any dude, by the being way. Being scared that you're gay is actually the gayest thing you could possibly do. I wasn't scared. I was just... That's the thing. I'm Seems not. A, I'm so not gay. I was like, let me just for the fuck of it, because I love pussy so much. Yeah, you're like, mm-hmm. let me mix it up. It's kind of a boring day. <laughs> kind of, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm here with my wife. We're looking at, like, you know, the, the mangoes. And I'm you're like, like, I'm here with my fuck. wife. She doesn't look like a man. I got to fucking... <laughs> got to figure some shit and out on the fly. The newborn's asleep. You know, she's taking care of She's the passy. And I'm going to try to see if I'm fucking gay. That would right. be awesome if you actually figured out you're gay a month after having your first baby. <laughs> that would rule, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and you die of AIDS, just like a, a, an old relative of ours yep, who, who passed away. Who died of being gay. <laughs> died of being gay in Texas. They beat him to death. <laughs> they put that on his death certificate. Being gay. Being gay. And he just got beat by, with a tire iron like the end <laughs> of uh, Brokeback Mountain. But they were like, yeah, he died from being gay. He wanted to fuck God. Yeah, he died. 
He died from a just death from being uh, gay. <laughs> Would you guys not have that? We were like, like I remember as a kid being like, I love God. And one time I tricked myself. Or I didn't realize for like two minutes I was saying, I love Satan. I love Satan. I love Satan. I love Satan. Because I was so, trying so hard not to say I love Satan that I started saying it. And I didn't realize I was. Mm. And for like two months, I thought I was for sure going to hell. Like big no. time. Yeah. No, Devin didn't have that because he wasn't abused as a no, child. No, I didn't have the, the. I didn't have that. See, but how did I Satan. develop that? And why do I, I have that? Well, because you that? have you have severe untreated uh, trauma that uh, severely affects. You but nothing, mentally. nothing really happened to me. I don't think. I was there. I, I did a lot of stuff. <laughs> I saw. You're some my shit. abuser. Yeah, I'm like Ben. I got to <laughs> I abuse you, and you'd be saying, "I would be fucking you." You'd be like, "I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay." <laughs> what was I the? Are you my yellow king? Yes. You would pull up outside the house on a lawnmower. I put spaghetti in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd have b- big slashes mm-hmm. across my face. Walking around with a British accent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get that lady from The Leftovers, and I'm fucking her. She's my wife. I forget she's in the... Yeah, she is in that. Yeah. yeah. She's in it for three seconds, and she's just lady with gross pussy. That's like her character <laughs> name. <laughs> lady with gross pussy. Lady fucks. with meatball skin. Yeah, no, I had that when I was a kid. I had it about the end of the world, because I was told the world would end in a wall of fire. I had that too, yeah. So I think I think you had this, Devin, where I was yep. convinced if I was constantly thinking about the world end, because they told us it would come like a thief in the night. Nobody would suspect it. So if I was constantly thinking about the world ending... Couldn't happen. I was stopping the world from ending. Yeah. Almost like like an atlas. I would I thing. would have that when I had an existential crisis about like dying and like what the fuck is the point of like anything. And so your thoughts would loop all day in a loop. I'd be like, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Because I thought like, well, who the fuck dies thinking about them dying? Yeah, I was like, it was like a protection. I mean, the, answer, the answer is most people. It's, like, it's, yeah, it's actually almost it's everybody. Because people go, oh, am I dying? And then they do die. That, I read a thing that apparently, like, right before people die in the hospital, they go, am I going to die? And then they die. <laughs> like, yeah. the, you know, you kind of know you're four seconds away from dying. So that's the, those are the most common last I, words. I read a thing from, like, some nurse where yeah. they're like, yeah, we're doing, if we're doing chest compressions on a guy, he's bleeding out. And he's like, okay, I'm fine. I'm going to be fine. And then all of a sudden he'll go, am I, am I going to die? And then he just, he's out. He's gone. Yeah, that is actually true. Yeah. <laughs> My dad's friend recently died, and he said that right before. Really? Yeah. He said, am I going to die? Neil. He goes, uh, I don't want to die, and then he died. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. So there's no escaping it. So just be gay, <laughs> baby. I, dude, I, you guys would have been proud of me because I was walking around like like 65-year-old cholo dude with like a chain wallet, and I'd be like... I'm going to wrap that around my dick and balls and jack off with it. I'm going to ride on the back of this guy's Harley. I'm going to come between his ass cheeks. I I like the cut of his jib. You were really trying to be gay because you weren't looking for hot guys. You're looking for just any guys. If I saw a guy, Mm -hmm. I would want to fuck him. Yeah. It didn't matter. I have that today. I just signed up for a weightlifting gym because it shames me into being a better man. Mm -hmm. If I go to like, it's like powerlifters. Yeah. There's a guy in there, huge, no shirt on, like just jacked. He grabbed like a 45 for me and just started like doing like flies with him. And I was just, I had to like stare at him from across the gym. Yeah. I was like, I just got to, I want to look at this guy. Mm. Mm-hmm. He's just a beautiful guy. Yeah. You There's know? beautiful men out there. It's just beautiful funny that men. Ben decided to do this at Trader Joe's. Mm. Like something about Trader Joe's is interesting to me. Here's the thing. I'm gay for all the employees at Trader Joe's. That's true. Every guy working at Trader Joe's, when I'm like checking out at the end, when they like bag on my stuff, I want to be like, "You want to like play catch after this or something?" Like, there's yeah. something so wholesome about we you. We can go to Gold clothes. Digger down the street. Yeah, go, Do you want to like hit a bar? Like, I kind of am in love with you. You're so nice. You asked me about all the, all these questions about like the pot stickers I got. You go, "You like these pot stickers?" And I go, "Yeah, they're great." And you go, "Yeah." And he, they go on like long rants about the food there. It's, and- o- it's always so funny because I'm checking out and I'm in such a bad mood because you're in Trader Joe's, which sucks. It's a human retard. No empire. one has any spatial awareness at Trader Joe's, no. by the way. Yeah. Trader Joe's, you need like those bubbles that they put like paralyzed dogs in so they yeah. like, don't walk in. No, I anything. throw bows at Trader Joe's. People are like, com- they turn into complete idiots. Mm hmm. No, no, I've, 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 I've put shopping carts into like old Chinese ladies' ankles at Trader Joe's. You <laughs> my, gotta be cutthroat in there. My new conscious method at Trader Joe's is I pretend no one exists except me. And mm. that's how I survive. Well, you would, you'd love the Alhambra at Trader Joe's. <laughs> because yeah. there's a lot of 60 year old Asian women who I don't think can see other people. Yeah, the shopping carts at the Alhambra Trader Joe's full of Chinese people, they're all dented. <laughs> You have, to, bit, you, have to, you have to have triple A to shop at Trader mm-hmm. Joe's. I, I, you get loaded. I, swear, I swear to God, I saw an old Asian lady. It, blinker was on the shopping cart. I don't know how I got there. I feel like an Asian, uh, Asian uh, like to Chinatown Trader Joe's. I feel like to walk in, they have to load you up in that thing pinball shoot out of. 
and you shoot into an actual <laughs> pinball you machine. Just, <laughs> you're just like grabbing <laughs> fucking chocolates. Like, yeah, I'm getting going high into, scores going off ramps. I'm going into a giant mechanical tongue and trying to grab corn. <laughs> yeah. There's a cat, a lucky cat with the paw going up and down. That is kind of accurate. That's jacking you off. Yeah, it is jacking me off. But then you go to check out, and I'm in such a shitty mood. I'm like, I just want to get out of here and eat these pigs in a blanket that I got. And the, the they're trained to do this. I and it pisses me off at first because they'll be like, "But you find everything?" I'm like, "Yeah." And they're like, "Man, love these pork rinds that you got." And I'll always start by being like, "Fuck off with your corporate thing." And then thirty seconds in, I'm like. Yeah, no, man. Like you, so you're a sk- like a skateboarder. Like that rules, dude. I always like wanted to get into that, yeah. and then I'm I'm tricked into being a human. You know, yeah. may I defend Trader That's Joe's? That's the whole thing. Yeah, may I defend Trader Joe's? I, love, you know, I have a little in, defend it. I, I have a little it. intel about Trader Joe's because, as mm. you guys know, I do frequent my local Chick Fil A and I do dine in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like my in taxi driver. You know how he meets up with the other taxi drivers at the coffee shop with yeah. Wizard. With, yeah. yeah, with Wizard. Yeah, I do that at Chick Fil A. So mm-hmm. you go to Chick Fil A and you stare down black people. <laughs> you go, they're all pimps. <laughs> every one of them, every last one of them is yeah. a fucking pimp. Yeah, you're in taxi driver, like scaring all the other people, being like, "Whoa, that's it's actually really racist, yeah. dude." You're so racist. You get fired from yeah. being a cab driver. Yeah, wizards like listen. I'm a I'm a, I'm the grand wizard of the KKK. That's why they call me this. And you're being like fucked up right I, now. I frequently see my fellow Trader Joe's cashiers at Chick Fil A before their shifts, which is around. I guess they have shifts. Maybe the late shifts like four to ten or something. They it, like, it is four to ten because I I think the early shift is like seven to five. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, something like my that. my mom used to work there. It's four to ten. When I was twenty. Five, I applied for a job there and they told me no in person. Mm. And I was like, why? Yeah. Go, Good it, seemed like by you, them. it seemed like you uh, really don't like want to work or like have, That's so funny. have a job. They seem like you're uh, you're just somewhere else. Yeah, I had a job interview there. My mom got it for me when she was working there at another location. And I the job interview was at like 7 a.m. Mm. And I was like a fucking, you know, I would smoke weed all night to go to bed. But I didn't smoke weed in the morning. I showed up. Had the interview. I was always nervous with interviews because it's a very it's a very bizarre thing to like be trying to get something you desperately don't want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a weird. And you reek of it. And yeah. you reek of like I don't want this, but I'm nervous and I'm pretending to be like an adult right. entering the workforce. And it's such a weird ritual because you show up and they're like, "Show me how good you can lie to me right now." Yeah. Tell me a bunch of lies about yourself. And I'm just I was just I don't know I thought I was like fine, but my mom calls me like two hours later and she goes, "Were you high?" <laughs> Like everyone there thought I was high, and That's I didn't right. get I didn't get the job. Yeah, but but to you and to me too, a job is like jury duty every day of your life forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, also like, so I, you don't want the don't, job. Also, it was insulting because it's like, don't give me that shit, Trader Joe's. Okay, there's fucking guys that like stack the fucking aisles who have like the L.A. Dodgers logo <laughs> tattooed on their cornea. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I've seen dudes that I'm look like high. Bob Marley stacking. Are IPAs. you kidding me? There's like Haitian cannibals working at Trader Joe's. <laughs> They but got there's, ba- there's... barbecue runs it. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Wait, who's that guy? He's like the new leader of Haiti. Uh, Haiti. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's a cannibal. <laughs> and he's ruining the entire country. Yeah, like, yeah. Eats, it's great. He eats babies. <laughs> I love that Haiti will still be like, yeah, we do cannibal shit. It's the, 2024. The currency is sacrificing children, and he ate yeah. too many of them and fucked up the economy. Yeah, no, our president, it's 2024. Our president is a Morton Joe. <laughs> It rules. <laughs> <laughs> no, apparently Haiti's like the road now. Really? Yeah. yeah. That rules. Except they don't even have shopping carts because they never had grocery stores. It's really, <laughs> it's really fucking. And up. they never had roads. It's yeah. just the, the field. The, the if grocery you brought store- a shopping cart to Haiti, civil war would break yeah. out over that shopping cart. The grocery store is they they just slice open a human's belly and people just start grabbing at things. They're like, oh, I got the lungs. Did you get yeah. the... They're so poor, their civil war is just them using other people to fight people. <laughs> I'll see photos on Twitter where I'm like, oh man, this is like 70 BC Pompeii. These are the people... Co-. I'm like, no, mm-hmm. this is Haiti right. last month. Yeah, this yeah. is their hospital, their best <laughs> yeah. hospital in Haiti. And yeah. it's a guy... You go to the hospital in Haiti and it's a doctor walking up with a big rock and he's smashing your head. <laughs> <laughs> And even you see people calcified in ash. <laughs> yeah, you see, he's like, what is wrong with you? And then it's a guy and then he just blows away. <laughs> and even though they're, they're resorting to cannibalism, they're still all going to starve to death because they're going to convince themselves the person they're eating is gay. <laughs> Let him rot. Mm. Here's my little inside info about the trip. Because a lot of people go, oh, you know, so-and-so, he's a nice guy, but he's faking it. 
here's the thing about the Trader Joe's employees. I see them frequently. Six of them, they meet up at Chick-fil-A before, and they all eat together and then go into their shift. Mm. And they're all like... Re- like the tightest friend group I've ever seen. So they're actually like happy retards. They're great. People I don't even know Trader if they're Joe's. retarded. I think no, they're, they're like not. what they're, human beings are supposed to be. To be they're they're actually is, like the best people yeah, on earth, that, Trader Joe's employees. That actually says a lot about me that if somebody's happy and nice, I'm like, oh, so they're, <laughs> so they're, they're retarded. Re- they're retarded. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's like kind of the best you can do now, actually. Mm, they're like all, the peak of humanity. Nah, in they're, the all world. Like, they're all like has aspiring artists or just kind of like bohemians that are a little lost or like a lady that used to like live in like Slab City for like 15 <laughs> years. And, you know, they're all people that are like just kind of like they're all like kind of artisty or they're, they're, gangbangers. They're right on the or, line from being intolerable. It's like a white girl with like with like weird braids and like a nose ring. Her name is yeah. TP. Yeah, and you go, you're fucking. You're almost too shitty for yeah. me to even look you in the it's eye. It's the only place where you'll be getting checked out by like a 67 year old like Arab guy who used to be a king. <laughs> like he literally used to be a king somewhere. <laughs> yeah, then he moved to America and works at Trader Joe's. <laughs> yeah, and his yeah. his best friend is a white girl named Twig. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they like they, and they smoke weed until like four in the morning and they talk about their hopes and dreams. Yes, mm-hmm. they they everybody. It looks like an Uber. Like it looks like when you see an Uber, but you can't see the sticker. So you go, is that is there an old Filipino man great friends with like four white chicks? <laughs> like what the fuck am I looking at right now? <laughs> they offer great recommendations too when you're checking out. They're they're amazing. They're like, have you tried the pumpkin? But here's one. Things? Here's a little problem with Trader Joe's, and I'll you know listen. Every I, I, every I, I, here's the thing. I love it. It's my favorite place. But <laughs> it's my favorite place. But every time I'm checking out, I look down, and they've they've sta- they've like stapled a piece of paper to the checkout thing that says, "By the way, if you have gotten the the fucking the pot stickers, uh, the chicken pot stickers this last month." Mm-hmm. Bring them back, cause you're dying. There's well, plastic in them. No, it's it's also they've always. Done, it was like the last month, cause they won't be like, oh, the broccoli has E. coli. They're like, we lost a man's hook hand in the broccoli. <laughs> so one bag is yeah. bad. But we have yeah. to recall the whole. And thing. their favorite thing is to go like, oh, that item that everyone wants, we discontinued it mm-hmm. for some strange reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's an yeah. interesting place, but it's a weird place for you to have had a gay fantasy at. Oh, it wasn't a fantasy. It was a reality for yeah. a few minutes. You were really gay. No, it was like I went into the gay simulation, and I was like, yeah, I think I'm a gay guy. Are you trying to escape this life? Uh, so I've been feeling a very heavy like weight on my chest like a man is sitting on top of mm, me. Because you've been having gay sex with a dude. <laughs> and he's been sitting on your chest jerking off into your mouth. Because you're gay! Um, that's right. That's right. Um, no, I mean, it would be a good way to escape... Um, you know, the pressures of being a, a father because you can always lean on the I'm gay thing. And I need to explore. Oh. And then exactly. my wife would be a bigot if she doesn't support my new path. Right, yeah. yeah. You, Katie, Katie could be like, hey, you, you still need to pay like child support. Like, I'm kind of fucked now. Mm-hmm. And you're like, you're a fucking bigot. You hate gay people. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, queen. Yeah. yeah. That's great. You're in court and the judge like gives you fucking child support. By the way, I think I don't even know what like being gay is anymore because like I I'll, like I'll see a guy in my algorithm where it's like his suits are tailored and mm. I'm like he's probably gay. Yeah, his clothes fit. You will he s- might be a gay guy. You will see a lot of guys like who are 24 and they like have the black paint and nails and like the one mm-hmm. cross earring, but they're straight. And I got to what that actually is is that's like a trapdoor spider for raping. 23 year old women yes. is to dress yes. like you know you're like yeah, I'm, you're is. like I'm non-binary but I will rape the shit out of you when you're drunk it's the it's the I call them like bisexual treehouse friends mm. we're just up uh. in the treehouse and we're all bi come hang out and they're, and then you get up there they're like close the door yeah, close just it. kidding just kidding just yeah. kidding I only fuck pussy yeah and I if I want to fuck it I get it yeah. Yeah. they're like you could jump <laughs> you might break your legs though we're in a treehouse it's bisexual treehouse friends. Yeah. It is I, exactly they go, they go, what it I is. I remove the ladder. Uh, so <laughs> if you if you threaten to me to me, I'll, I'll I'll try and kill myself in front of you. I'll go to your dad's house and try to kill myself. Any any bisexual dude from like Austin, Texas, who looks like Bart Simpson, has like three rape accusations against him. <laughs> yeah. 
By the way, everyone in Austin is not a person. Mm. No, Austin is Austin is the town from like the Simpsons hit and run game. It's not real. <laughs> Nobody there had a vibe of a real human being. In fact, everyone in Austin looked like they had just been released into the wild by the Queer Eye guys. Like the Queer Eye guys just came into their home, dressed them, remade their kitchen, and then mm. they were just like, get out there, honey, just fucking date yeah. and like walk around. Yeah, like, downtown they opened a cage and this guy came running Yeah, out. He was, oh, they gave me a leather jacket and like good <laughs> shoes and I'm, I'm ready. Oh, I'm 53. I just started <sighs> I started listening to the Black Keys. Oh, God, fuck yeah. I'm, I heard there's a, a Dina Tai Fung in downtown Austin now. I'm going to try <laughs> dim sum. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to dress like oh, Leon Bridges. I think that's cool. <laughs> yeah, no, no one no one there seemed real to me. No, Austin's a piece of... We should nuke that whole fucking city. But it's no, comedy we can't now. Tommy world. Pope moved there. Oh, that's right. And Chris O'Connor. Too many people I like are there now, but they're the... Everyone I love has moved to Austin. Everyone that is... Yeah, but they're not from Austin now. Who even is from Austin? What even is Austin. It's L.A. without the income tax. It really sucked mm-hmm. ass. Like, it's so gloomy all the time. I know. Every tree is dying. Mm-hmm. Every, it, there's, it just doesn't even feel... It literally doesn't even have a culture or a place. It doesn't have... Devin's woke. It mm-hmm. doesn't have anything. Devin's woke. Yeah, it doesn't have a, anything. He loves California. De- Devin, you're a member of woke. <laughs> I'm, yeah. a, I'm a California liberal cuck. You're cuckafornication. Sorry, folks. Sorry, Devin is a cuck. He's a California cuck who hates the worst comedy specials to ever be, have been made. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you don't like my knock-knock jokes about rape, you're woke. <laughs> If you don't like if you don't like my new comedy special titled like Black People Jokes and it's twenty two minutes long, you woke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just watched a really nice special. We'll we'll talk oh, about it. Oh, Devin got us Devin got us worked up uh, before this episode for close to an hour. It's just Thankfully a lot my of, daughter was out of the house because there was a lot of screaming. A lot mm-hmm. of comics like they they might as well be eating a popsicle and then they take like three minutes, no it's not saying a word, and then they just read the stick. And then and they it, go, hold the, on, let me get a Snapple because I want to I want to be smart. Yeah, they go, and then what? they read the Snapple cap. <laughs> yeah, they go, Jaguars are native to... They're like, I got to say the N-word real quick. <laughs> uh, N-word, Ecuador, <laughs> N-word. <laughs> now you know what comic I'm talking about. Yeah, and then the, but then the crowd, like, they, they'll look around, they're like, fuck, is he really saying that? Yeah. They're, like, doing this, like, whole... Yeah. Everyone does this now. They're yeah. like, is he really saying this in the place where you only say that all yeah. the time? All the time, it's a forever. Lot of, it's a mm-hmm. lot of guys. Every night, no mm-hmm. matter what. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of guys wearing hats that are like tattered, but they bought it tattered. Yes. Like that's the style. <laughs> they bought it. Is that it looks like it's been heavily worn. It costs $900. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People that wear clothes, they look like they fell in a rock tumbler. Yeah. And they just got out. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a great place what they've garnered over there. I mean, everybody I love is in Austin now. That is true. That is true. That's yeah. what's. I'm just mm-hmm. saying. All like, of my friends are in Austin. When I have like Musk. twelve friends in Austin, and I only have three friends in LA. Yeah. We will be Brett there. Number. Unfortunately, we'll be there a lot. Yes, I think. But yeah. it's just. I'm just saying. Just. Oh, city, I love it. I'm saying city wise. I don't know whatever. How how did it ever used to be cool? I don't understand what that city is. Well, it used to be cool, and then they started doing comedy there, and yeah. that's when it was really that really <laughs> ruined. I guess that's it. true. Yeah, comedy was like crack in D.C. for Austin. Yeah, it just destroyed that community. Yeah. And it's funny because it used to be like Bill Hicks, and you know, it's always funny because they'll be like Austin was the scene. They're like they had Bill Hicks and Jimmy Pineapple. You're like, <laughs> and, I know and by the way, also that was Houston. That yeah. wasn't even Austin. And it was. And then the Austin tries to claim they kind of right. try to sneak. They it go in. first off, it was Houston. I go. By the way, I've never seen Jimmy Pineapple do stand up. I can guarantee he sucks cock. Yeah, his name is Jimmy Pineapple. You know what I do like about Austin though? I do like that the whole the the Renaissance has happened there, and everyone moved down there, and now all the old comics that we when we were coming up. People mm-hmm. were like, they're an Austin guy. And I was like, well, that guy sucks ass. <laughs> I'm glad they have no home anymore. Yes. I'm kind of glad they got like the rent was raised on them. Yeah, it is. not. They got gentrified out of yeah. being. They got. Uh, ge- it's bad comedians getting gentrified by bad comedians. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. No, I mean, I, I started in Austin like fucking 10 years ago and it was like what, you know, 
like Elon Musk thinks like mm-hmm. California is now. I went to one insane. of Jace's shows like ten years ago in a comic book store, and people yeah. are going up in there. They're like, "Okay, uh, Space Invaders, uh, folks. You know, remember yeah. Space Invaders? A guy who looked like Harry John Candy did ten minutes on Diablo three. Dude, people would do. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And yeah. people were going into bits about like bat- like who remembers Battletoads? Right. They're like they're like. I mean, if you watch Gal- Battlestar Galactica, I think Flea Form is a bit of a nerd, <laughs> like Chris Hardwick, and then you'd, you'd see these like fucking dickless pussyless nerds yeah. like just see them like laughing Dude, yeah actually now that i think about it comedy's better now in austin than it was it is it's ago. way better yeah but it's like going from like rape to sexual assault you know <laughs> well at least the smells in the room are less bad it's a lot um, better i like that rogan posts pictures of of like turkey hot dogs with like lucha libre hot sauce and like 17 eggs i've pointed out eating. to you guys it's like what's the point of having the money if you the posts are the exact same like a, yeah. it's like a, as a guy who lives in a trailer yeah, yeah. In his, in his he, has, he has a divorced dad Instagram. Yeah, it should be it should be a picture of a bunch of empty beer cans from that weekend. <laughs> it's, it's it's a blurry post of your of like uh, your elk. It's a blurry yeah. sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Mm, it should yeah. say got the kids for the weekend, and it's just a selfie of your face from this fucking <laughs> angle. And then a blurry photo. He's in the front row of a Black Keys concert. Mm-hmm. He's like these Black Keys <laughs> kick ass. I just started using Pandora to find new bands. Yeah. Play the one from the Hyundai commercial. Yeah. Do the credit karma. <laughs> one <laughs> just listening to commercial music at this point i love him but picturing him like all little in his skinny jeans yeah. and just like doing this in the front row holding, to like thick freakness holding a periscope <laughs> so he can see over four people in front of him no he's in the front row but he still needs one of those to see up that's what i'm yeah. saying the stage that's what i'm saying yeah the stage is no. like blocking he can just see the top of like fucking yeah. dan auerbach's hair they bring him to forth. a special section where he stands on dictionaries I fucking love him so much. I love Rogan. He no. does exactly what he, he loves. Yes. He fucking loves what he loves. And he no, he's like, it. He doesn't give he's a like shit. a human dog. Like, you, you're not going <laughs> to. You're not going to train him. He, so much respect. For no, him. he posts like anybody's uncle on Facebook, but yeah. somehow he has 200 million followers. No, he'll be at a Black Keys concert being like, now the white stripes, they're a little, they're a little much for me. <laughs> More of a Black Keys guy. <laughs> <laughs> he was literally, um, Greta Van Fleet was invented for Joe Rogan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, he goes. Yeah, Led Zeppelin. They got too much kick to them. Greta, Greta Van <laughs> Fleet's pretty fucking cool, though. It, I mean, it does rule to you yeah. know be doing Zeppelin for money, so that's cool. Mm-hmm. Maybe, dude. You know what? I just kind of realized this whole thing about tricking myself into being gay. Yeah, I think I could create any kind of life I want for myself through OCD. Mm, I yeah. could walk around and be like, you know, whatever is the new bad thing that sucks ass that everybody likes and is constantly on TV. You could get obsessed with it. No, mm-hmm. I could just start walking around saying, I I love, uh, you know, I love, uh, uh, I love the new Marvel movie. I love the new Marvel movie. I mm-hmm. love the new Marvel. Right, and then right, I go, right. I think I love, guys, I'm thinking the yeah. new Avengers film is the is the shit. Mm-hmm. You just walk around like, Madam Web kicked ass. Madam Web <laughs> kicked ass. Madam Web kicked ass. Get Madam in, Web kicked ass. Get, it would be so funny to get into superhero movies the minute everybody <laughs> fucking hates them. It would be so funny. <laughs> you know, like, Infinity War, that's for fucking losers. Madam Web is like, for real OGs. <laughs> Yeah, as a reactionary dude who has no real opinions, which mm. is not me, by the way. I'm just doing it for the bit. Uh, <laughs> a reactionary dude who has no real opinions, as soon as they're out of vogue, I'm going to be the guy in like 2031 who mm-hmm. can't shut the fuck up about Avengers Endgame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm like, guys, remember? Yeah. I'm like, remember Avengers Endgame? Remember yeah. the Antum, Ant-Man quantum mania? Mm-hmm. I'm like, remember the classic classic cinema? You're doing a- Remember su- the golden age of yeah. cinema? You're in the, you're in the criteria. In a closet, they're interviewing you for some reason. It's much further in our careers. And you're like, ah, oh, man. Have you guys, um, you guys seen Ant Man Five? I don't see Ant Man Five. What's this Lahane bullshit? <laughs> Fucking gay French black and white bullshit. Fuck this shit. Hey, I have an idea to go viral right now. What's that? Okay, all three of us. Let's go through and uh, uh, listeners can clip this and then post it all over social media, or we maybe. Uh, each of us are going to say our top five favorite movies and just say the worst films of all time and oh. then clip clip these things but completely out of context. Okay. Mm. Uh, who wants to go first? Adventures of Pluto Nash. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Here, I'll set up the clip. Uh, Devin, what is your what are your top five favorite... Let me take that again. Devin, what are your top five favorite movies of all time? <sighs> the Adventures of Pluto Nash. Mm-hmm. Great choice. Uh, Madam Web. Really good. I, I haven't seen it, but I heard... I read reviews. It's really good. Mean Girls, the remake. The musical. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't like the first one. I, the first one was a little too confusing to me. 
Um, too structurally sound yeah, and, you know, exactly. funny, narratively good. Yeah. yeah. Saltburn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, fuck, number five's tough. Number five's tough. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I love Yaha Shazam and what she's been doing to cinema lately. <laughs> who's who's and, Yaha Shazam? A made up person. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, fuck, 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 fuck. You know, promising young woman, I Great. thought was like incredible. So mm-hmm. dark. Mm-hmm. Devin is. What's funny is all the viral clips I'm seeing of actors saying their top five films. Devin is matching the ethos like perfectly of them being absolute cocksuckers about naming their top five movies. You're talking about the Letterbox movies. Oh, that have go you viral? have you seen those viral yes. shorts of yeah. The yeah, celebrities yeah. talking about their top five favorite yeah, movies? Yeah. It'll be very funny because they'll have like a it'll be like a film with you know like Sir Ian McKellen and like you know Jam Sports Book mm-hmm. you know like this 15 year old girl with massive tits mm-hmm. who's a movie star now. And Sir Ian McKellen will be like, "Well, The Bicycle Thieves was great," and they'll cut to her and she's like, "Toy Story Four was the best Toy Story." <laughs> Oh, and uh, 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 Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Oh, I love oh that my movie. God. It's so good. It's just the new, it's the new class. It's the it's new the class. It's the new class of guy. Mm-hmm. The new filmmakers are taking like, they're like, it's like a buffet, right? Because yeah. all the greats that came before, a little bit of Hitchcock, mm-hmm. a little bit of Scorsese, mm-hmm. a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And a little bit of comedy. Mm-hmm. And a little bit of fun. A little <laughs> bit of ability to laugh at yourself. Yeah. You, you have someone like Pete Davidson in the mix. How's the flick not going to be a romp? Yeah. yeah. Can yeah. I get, can I give you my top five? Go ahead, quick? Jace. I'd love to hear your top right. five. <laughs> Number one, Avengers one. Number two, <laughs> Avengers: Age of Ultron. Number three, Avengers: um, Infinity War. Uh-huh. Number four, Avengers: Endgame. Number five, 120 Days of Sodom. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird thing about the, this is like a movie thing. If you watch the Criterion Closet, uh, <laughs> closet, <laughs> like no, that's, that's what it's called. I think it's what it's called. Isn't it called the Criterion no, no, Collection? No, no, no. There's a closet. Oh, yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. closet where we they send oh, they send okay. young actors. Faggot, get away from me! I want to. I'm gay. I want to have sex with <laughs> I you. I know you're gonna pass it on to me, like zapping me with static. <laughs> mm-hmm. They go into a closet and they like have to like. There's all the Criterion movies oh. and they like they're like, oh, I love this oh, movie. Okay, it's like those shows where people talk about their favorite shoes. Like, yeah, the, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, kind of. I don't yeah. know what the fuck that is, but sure. There's a big shoe show on YouTube. Um, <laughs> not my cup of tea. <laughs> Next. Not a shoes guy, Devin. Sorry. Sorry, Next. Devin. Not shoes guys, not hat guys. Uh, but they go into the closet, and for whatever reason, every single director is like, oh, 120 Days of Sodom. I love mm-hmm. that movie. It's great. And it kind of makes you think, like, oh, are they actually like pedophiles? Right. Like Hollywood pedophiles. I think they just think it's like, yes. sounds good. <laughs> but that is also true. Yes. Ding 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 ding. ding. You, you say that you go. I guess everyone in Hollywood's a pedophile, and all the lights in here start going crazy, <laughs> yeah. like and in then, a car dealership when someone sells a car. And then the SWAT team swings through like uh, Sicario. <laughs> yes, yes. Just fucking guts. What's yeah. your top five, Ben? Uh, number one, right at the top. I mean, this is very obvious. Uh, the Robin Williams Popeye movie, mm. the live action Popeye okay. that Robin Williams started. The worst Robin Williams yeah. movie. <laughs> Yes, and the worst Robin Altman movie, and all his movies suck ass. <laughs> Fuck him! I'm glad he's dead. The player, more like the gayer. That movie sucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> number two, you guys know I'm a huge Patrice O'Neill fan, so number two, Furry Vengeance. <laughs> Also, mm-hmm. my favorite Brendan Fraser movie. That mm-hmm. is a great one. My my second favorite Jim Norton movie, by the way. Yeah. Oh, Jim Norton's in that too. Yeah. yeah my 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 first favorite is the one where Robert De Niro plays that comedian from 2013. The comedian. The comedian. How could great. I? Great. How could I forget? Oh, I'm already. Can I? Can I go with one that hasn't come out yet? <laughs> sure, Devin. Shoot. Ezra. I already know it's going to be my favorite oh. film of all time. Bobby Cannavale and his autistic kid. Robert mm-hmm. De Niro's the uncle. It's Bobby Cannavale as you've never seen him before. A retarded Italian guy. <laughs> we have to watch that on the Patreon at Patreon. Yeah. We have to watch that on the Patreon after yeah. this. It is. I showed it to Devin and he turned the colors of hell. Yeah. It's- it was insane. I thought Devin was like, I was like, am I, is my best friend a teapot? What is, he, it yeah. was, it's crazy. I, was, it is- I had to like turn the phone down. I'm like, Devin, it's okay. Buddy. It is Bobby Cannavale has an autistic son. That's the movie. And he's literally going like, he's not a bad kid. He's just like a spaghetti and meatballs. Sometimes you gotta heat him up a little bit. Bobby Cannavale sucks ass. Okay, number, and anytime I see, <laughs> I'm so mad I picked up a pen to make points. I've always loved 
him. I'm yeah, like, I love so, that I'm guy. So disappointed. He's a one-dimensional <laughs> faggot, and anytime I see, <laughs> I think he anytime... compliments Giamatti well in that one movie where uh, Giamatti's like a wrestler. Coach He's not going to fuck you, dude. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I accuse you of that. <laughs> no, he is good. He's good in a lot of movies, but it's like I'm like, all right, enough of Bobby Cannavale being Bobby Cannavale with you know? the hair, with the hair, with the hair. Mm-hmm. Have a different hair like that, you know. Uh, and then every time I see Robert De Niro in a trailer, it makes me want to kill him for his own good. The fact that he just has to keep pumping out these piece of shit movies. Uh-huh. Yeah, so he could his, so black, he wife. his black family. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his child support payment is like literally $50,000 a month somehow. Yeah. Oh, uh, anyway, sorry. Number three is The Machine. <laughs> oh, oh, God, very, how did I forget that? Can number, can number four be a stand up special? Uh, so of course. Number four is uh, the crowd work special from Matt Rife. Mm. His his second one that he put out in mm. Niagara Falls. Oh, okay. Beautiful. The 50 minute long That's movie. a pretty good one. That, that one, I like, because I... I like Rice Raw stuff a little bit more than his polish. Because he does like a funny like sketch at the beginning too, right? With Ashton Kutcher. With Ashton Kutcher. When and I Mila. saw him in that, I knew he killed that woman in like 2004. <laughs> the thing about artists, I, I like the raw stuff from it. Like it's like you want to fill them in your fingertips. You know, mm. you're, shit, you're like it's like I feel alive yeah, when yeah. I put on Rice. Yeah. Well, who and, doesn't? But yeah, 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 keep going. Number five is probably I'm gonna go with. Hmm. Number five. See, this is tough for me because I'm I have really bad taste and stuff. Mm. <laughs> so I'm, I mean, I'm, I have a I'm Rolodex looking, of the worst movies ever made. I mean, I'm literally head. looking at a Blu-ray of the Whale, so that tracks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna say. Hmm. Let me let me think here. Oh, you know what? Number five. My my comfort movie. Um. Uh. Sea Spot Run. <laughs> The David Arquette movie. The from David Arquette movie with the little dog <laughs> that let that convinced mom that we could adopt a dog. The the wow. movie that actually doesn't exist anymore because not a single person has thought about it since two thousand three. Mm-hmm. It's not a single person. It has not in been, the world. It has not been lost to time. It never existed. Mm-hmm. It's been deleted from. Time. That is the new thing though. Movies about dogs now. What they had like oh, Channing, really? Channing Tatum in the dog movie and now what's that called? A uh, fucking dog, I think. I think it's literally <laughs> it's called, called dog. It's called yeah. dog, yeah. And then now Mark Wahlberg's in another one where he's like running a marathon and he finds a dog. He trains a dog to kill a Chinese guy. Exactly. He yeah. trains a dog to blind Vietnamese people in South Boston. Now that's the secret life of pets. <laughs> very good. Very good. Very good. Louis is in the secret life of pets. He is he? in the secret he life. Is. Of, and so is Kevin Hart. He plays a turtle that goes, my fucking, I want to jack off with Chinese food. Where are you going? What happened? I got a piss, sorry. Oh, okay. Did Devin piss himself? No, no. I think he just. I think he was close to the verge of pissing himself. So oh, really? Wow. He had to prance out of the room. He's a fucking drunk. He came over with uh, ciders. I know. He's got a fucking problem. He came. He came home with this weird um, fucking witchcraft beer. This weird seltzer that he drinks. Cider sucks. He's a retard. Fuck cider. I fuck hate se- Devin. Fuck seltzer. I hate, I hate watch sucks ass. Yeah, I hate watch is terrible. I hate every one of those guys. They're not my friends. No, I'm just kidding. I love everybody on hate watch except for John. Except John has been driving me nuts. John's close to a blocking. I love I love John so much, but it is funny. Everywhere we did the live lemon party podcast. People come up to us after and they'd be uh-huh. screaming. They'd be like, I fucking hate John. Yeah. John fucking sucks at. They'd be well, screaming. People like security would have to take them that's away. That's the beauty of John is that he's a human um, punching bag. <laughs> Every friend group needs one of those guys. But uh, no, we're just kidding. And he um, loves it. Uh, well, I mean, if the mics were off, we'd be talking shit about Devin right now because he just left the room. But can I, can this I is t- recorded. He's going to listen to it yeah, later. Can I tell you, by the way, did you, did you watch Poor Things, the Emma Stone movie? No. Oh, you hate women. Okay. Never mind. That's right. Yeah. Anyway. I also can't watch movies where like women get fucked because then I'm with my wife and she's just going to stare at me watching the woman get fucked. Does she get angry about that? No, but it's just like, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Watch a 10 minute scene of a woman getting fucked next to my wife? When I when I with my girlfriend and the sex scene comes in the movie, I go, I go. Look at that. You should fuck me like them. You go, hey, get some peepers on that action right there. It's a, you see the way she takes cock? Take some notes. You, wait, wait, wait. During you a sex scene in the movie, when when we watch sex scenes in a movie, we you bring a notepad, you hand it to your girlfriend, you go, honey, peepers on screen, take notes. Take notes. <laughs> and you go, you go, click, click, you click a very click. loud fucking yeah. pen and hand it yeah. to him. <laughs> I get the loudest. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I go, you're not taking notes. <laughs> Take notes, sweetheart. You see the way Jennifer Tilly really grinds on his balls? I have one of those. Uh, I make my watch uh, wife watch porn, and I dress up like uh, Patton. Mm. And I walk around. Patton with- Oswalt. Yeah. <laughs> and you give yeah. her fentanyl. Yeah, I, I smother her with a pillow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I walk around with like a big dowel, and I start whipping the screen, and I go, like that. Like that, damn it. <laughs> Eyes on the screen, damn it. Like that. That's how you take cock. I start whipping the plasma screen and it's shattering. <laughs> yeah, ripping through, yeah. <laughs> I drill a hole in the TV and I fuck it. Yeah. I just watched a real hot hot piece of ass movie, uh, The Bound, by the Wachowski brothers before they both um, oh. chopped the, their di- their dicks off. Yeah, they're they're both uh, trans, right? They're both they're the Wachowski sisters now. Wachowski sisters. What are the chances? The sisters brothers. It's <laughs> very great. It's very, always good. Very good. I've just said yeah. What are the chances two people are that are brothers both are like no, but I am a woman. I don't what know. If, what if that's what you really escape the matrix? You're like, oh, I have to, I have to be trans now. <laughs> Morpheus is like Neo. You have to cut your cock off. They're like turn me into Carrie Ann Moss. <laughs> But great, great film though. A lot of sex. A lot of hot, hot sex. Jennifer Tilly, Gina Gershon, and Ooh. they're just they're rubbing their pussies up. I don't know how they do it. Oh my god! They're sliding their pussies up and down like they're trying to lock them into place. I love sex in films. <laughs> it's you know what's interesting is that all the fucking these gay uh, the zoomers. Uh, yeah, but also the now with the new movies, they got these guys that come on set that like they're in, they're called intimacy coordinators. Mm. It's pretty gay. Yeah, you had to do deal with one on your yep, movie. Yep, and it's like, hey, just let me go to town, pal. <laughs> no, but it's just weird. It's like it's already an uncomfortable thing, and then you got like a person like holding your hip up and mm-hmm. like, like, okay, don't, don't quite do that. Mm-hmm. Like, don't, I don't know. It just makes it more uncomfortable. Literally, just literally, let them have sex. Literally, a guy. They really there. should have sex. <laughs> They should fuck. It should be like bu- like Buffalo, like uh, all of uh, what's his face? His movies, Vincent uh, Gallo. I don't know, but they should let me fuck. They should let you have sex, yeah, with a gay guy <laughs> at Trader Joe's. You know, it's been throwing me through a loop. What's that? Your or mind for a loop, through a loop, <laughs> for a loop. Uh, I think if no one ever told me, I would think my shit is my piss, and my piss is my shit. Jesus, mm. man. some more lemon party thing to bring up. What? I mean, this is no. Just, I'm, think, I'm this is a real thing because we're told that we eat food and we poop, mm. and that we're t- we're told that we drink water and we pee. But like, literally, poops are the shape of like soda cans. I would, and like, all I drink is soda. You know that painting of all the philosophers from ancient Greece, like walking down that big <laughs> stairway. I would love you right between Plato. <laughs> And yeah. Socrates being like, what if shit was called poop and poop was called shit? Are you meaning a thousand years from now, people are looking back people and are looking I'm back. a guy? Right. They're at the Louvre and they're like, well, that guy was a fucking retard, I can tell. I'd love for there to be one scene in Oppenheimer where he's meeting up with you next to a lake. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just saying that. Right. And he's like, right, okay, yeah, thanks. Ben's, Ben's being taught in a classroom and he's going, you can be gay, but you can also be straight. Now, how can both things be true at the same time? <laughs> they can't. You're gay. Florence Pugh tries to fuck Einstein theorized that he himself was gay and I turn around I start scribbling yeah F-A-G E F-A-G right E equals my cock square I think being smart is just doing this with a piece of chalk like crazy yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) pop 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 yeah you're so smart your arm has to move that fast yeah you couldn't possibly just do this Mm mm-hmm I think they just make it all up. I hate that shit. I hate chalkboard guys in movies that do. You're not smart because you just you write all shitty and fucked I up. I hate and it's loud. Fuck guy. off. Yeah, yeah. Good. Get in. Get a, a dry erase board. It's about time we took them to task. Oh god, I could get. I could go on and on about that, mm-hmm. but I, we would lose the entire audience right now. So, uh, uh, but it, it, hear me out. Piss. It, piss smells like food more than poop smells like food. Poop just smells like shit. Piss. You can eat asparagus and it smells like asparagus, or you can this eat is- something really fucked up and your piss will smell like that food. Like if you eat like a bunch of like syrup on pancakes, then your piss smells like sweet. Kinda. I think I think you're something's really I'm fucked up with your penis. Not sure what's going on. I with think you. I would think that food gets melted in my body and comes out of my penis, and then I would mm-hmm. think that if I drink something from a can, it would come out shaped like a can. So since I drink soda, I would think p- like poop is basically like poop is. 
it like that's how your body gets rid of the poop. And I would think you could crack open your poop like an egg, and all the water and the soda is in there. Like it forms mm. its own. Can this is and that's starting to feel out. like the moment of the podcast that we realize we're finished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's you know what it is. It's the scene in Walk Hard where he's trying to write a new song. He's like, Walk Hard. No, damn it. Fuck. We take so many things as defaults in this world, and sure. I think if no one was there to tell us this, I think like one percent of the population would think their piss is food and their shit is. Hard. Have you ever tried? I here's how I'll meet you half, half not halfway. I'll meet you one sixteenth of the way because that's insane. You're an insane person. Yeah, I, I still can't. I'm trying to think about that. It's just meet uh, me three fifths. Not way. computer. I'll meet you three fifths of the way in a mule. Um, listen to me. Um, I will sometimes walk around. The, I did this the other day. I walk around a grocery That's shaped store. shaped like a shit. That glass is shaped like a shit. It makes sense. What? Yeah, but not the liquid in it. The, if, if the also, no, shit is not shaped like that. Yeah, it's no, not what conical. What the shit do you have? A shit is shaped like a glass. Are no, you shitting pints out? <laughs> what does your shit look like? Is it a ball? It looks like shit. Place. It looks like shit. It looks like what shit looks like, not it's that. It's disgusting. It looks... <laughs> I never look at it. I, I flush. I, I shit it out. And I go. Gah! I'm picturing Devin look turning around and looking at it, and going, "Ah, it looks like shit." <laughs> Honey, every time I take a shit, I look at it. I go again. Honey, get in here! It keeps happening. <laughs> you think you're dying? Is because something you're wrong saying. with me? I shit everywhere. The great Ben Avery told me it's supposed to look like a bottle. <laughs> I think my shits literally are supposed to say like Sprite Remix on the side. <laughs> it says like 16 ounce right. with like a you nutrition actually, label on it. You actually drink it. so much Coke, it does come out in, in a bottle. No, my ass is a vending machine. You, I eat quarters and sodas come out of my ass. You have so much and microplastics I, in your blood that it forms a Sprite bottle and encases your shit in it. <laughs> you drink so much vending machine soda. By the way, you know how fucked we are, not, I, real quick, is that on Reddit, I keep seeing these big things about microplastics being a really big problem. Mm -hmm. And then finding them in like arteries and whatever. Sure. But and then but then all the comments they make it seem like no no there's a solution to this and it's just everyone saying if you donate plasma it, it gets rid of the plastic <laughs> so it's all these people like shit where do I go to do that so like everyone's gonna start donating blood yeah. and plasma to like get rid of people, microplastics yeah people are like if you cut out your spine you reduce it by half <laughs> that's you, fucking retarded if you give your kidney away it reduces I, the amount I love a Huberman guy for like literally a problem of capitalism just destroying all of us I mean it's in the fucking ice sheets yeah. in Antarctica by the way also that, that study where it was like there's microplastics and all these people that died of like heart attacks and stuff. It's like they were already like huge fat people with heart problems. Already. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see they that. They were making one. it seem like the microplastics like clogged their arteries, which is retarded. I mean, if you're a great big fat person and they die of a heart attack, you're like, well, we don't. We know exactly what happened. Yeah, uh, I, Andrew Huberman leaning over the fat spaghetti guy from Seven. <laughs> Being like, hmm, yeah, let me test his blood levels for yeah. microplastics. Yeah. Like, he shows up to the vet we got a guy at seven, from seven, and he goes, this guy didn't get morning sunshine in his eyes. That's he must happened. have been dehydrated. Yeah, he was dehydrated because he didn't put salt in his water when he drank it. He didn't do Wim Hof. Yeah. Also, I love anytime we talk about Andrew Human, it turns five guys into like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we like got posted on their Rogan subreddit, and people got furious. Yeah, at us talking yeah. About well, famously right. great sense of humor on the Rogan subreddit. <laughs> yeah. By the way, if you are on a subreddit typing comments, you're a faggot. Tell yourself. <laughs> anyway, call me a cuck again. I don't give a shit. I don't read it. They read it. I'm not gonna see it. It doesn't exist. I call Jace at seven thirty in the morning. I go, someone called you a cuck again on the internet. You have done that before. <laughs> I'm like it's seven. I'm like, someone called you a cuck, and I hang up. <laughs> I'm like, anyway, I'm going to enjoy my day. Right. I'm like, yeah, it's Tuesday. Somebody <laughs> called me a cock online. Uh, um, were you going to meet me halfway with the piss and shit thing? I'm going to no? meet you one sixteenth of the way. Sometimes I will try and walk around like a grocery store or a movie theater or a strip club or wherever. And I will try to look at it as if I am an alien who's never been to Earth before and try to experience it without these, uh, this illusion of habit and routine and... Um, just being used to it. And look it will, at the world like a baby. Yeah, trying to look at the world like a baby, and it will kind of yeah. blow you. I mean, you, you it's kind of retarded, but you like will walk up to a carton of eggs and be like, man, that's four chickens 
somewhere in Fresno, yeah. California, and they put that in a styrofoam thing that was made in Guadalajara, and then it's shipped here, and then I eat it, and it goes into a landfill, and it's going to sit there for a thousand years. And then you just kind of like, you think about that, and then an old Chinese lady hits you in the ankle with a shopping cart, and you, you know snap back out of it yeah yeah I, th- I think about that stuff but then i go but like why am i why do i have to be the generation that thinks about that and cares like forever people have been just throwing shit away and it goes somewhere and their shit oh, goes yeah. somewhere you know i'm like i'm like well, I'm, I'm being a little too good of a person here i'm gonna be a pig and ignore it i'm not trying to, f- to yeah. fix nothing yeah i just like complaining and you know no, i mean listen. i like witnessing the horrors i'm not tr- nothing's gonna fucking change or get better last episode i said i wanted to help out kids and ben made me feel like a fool so, <laughs> you know who knows i don't know there's no there shouldn't shouldn't do good no uh, you came across as a real uh jester i actually was embarrassed for you I was, i'm that. embarrassed by you i almost thought about editing it out i come over here all the time and i'm just i go like i, I can't believe this guy publicly speaks <laughs> Uh, when you're not present for your own uh, life and actions, then uh, nothing in this room actually happens. You're the one you think I'm a bad guy for mm-hmm. trying to help out retards. No, you have to do. I think you're. I think you're a dumbass. Actually, I, I, it goes beyond being. I a think bad you're guy. a fool. I think you're actually a fool. I think. I, <laughs> well, thanks. I think you're an actual like jester. Right. If I was a king, yeah. I would cut off your arms and legs. Can I? Can I? And you would, I would call you pillow. I go bring me pillow today. Have him have him rant about Trader Joe's, <laughs> <laughs> and they would bring you out and sit you in a chair, and just you would turn red talking about Trader Joe's, yeah, yeah. and I'd have to I would have someone come up behind you with arms, yeah. since you I have your arms cut off, and they would be miming your hand actions like you're going off, <laughs> and then <laughs> when you get bored of Devin, you throw him off a, a bridge into a bunch of water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and I want to add too, I would give him like those jester shoes where he they sit him on the jester shoes, so it looks like he has really short legs. Mm, like, oh, that okay. makes me laugh. He looks like Dorf on golf. That's funny. I yeah. gotta say, that still gets me when I see that classic gag where a guy gets on his knees, but he puts his <laughs> knees in his shoes. I'm like, oh man, Can I tell you, that I, is funny. I did two you, months ago. I got on YouTube and I typed in Dwarf on Golf, and I go, ah oh, man, that Tim Conway, what a card. <laughs> you would be a king though. Somehow I'd be king because you're I would, like because yeah, you're like re- you're retarded mm-hmm. and you're you all, can't stop eating. <laughs> That's true. That's like a requirement of a king. You have the compulsive eating. eating. You'd yeah. be a great insane king. You'd have like sores on your legs that they'd have to pop all the time. Dude, I'd be the first guy to get diabetes from grapes. <laughs> <laughs> A, my, a guy feeds me so many grapes. Yeah. My lord, <laughs> we'll have to chop your foot off if you keep eating grapes. And he's going like, oh, look, the grapes. I'd want to be the... The thing is, you want to be the nice king, but then... Nah, fuck that. History tells us that if you're like a really nice king, then your best friend like betrays you and like fucks your wife or like kills you or like... You know, in the middle of the night, they like, you know, wage a war on the castle and storm it. And they like, you know, they take your body out in a field. They dismember your head. They all skull fuck you. Mm-hmm. I would have they feed no you to a big humanity. alligator. If I was a king, I would ha- I wouldn't be able to like have humanity. I would be a monster. Oh, immediately. I'd be yeah, a monster. Yeah. I'd feed people to sharks. Yeah. And alligators. I'd kill people in really fun, funny ways mm-hmm. to me, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, I feed people to bears. I'd have a moat, and then like like every few days, I'd be like, just remove, like, like just make the the walkway like rigidy, and like, people fall in, dude. Because that'd be funny for me. And I'd you guys, sit- you guys, with the second they like crown you, like the second that crown hits your head, so you make like- people do ninja American Ninja Warrior type stuff. But no, they wouldn't even know. They wouldn't have the opportunity to be like good enough at it to get across. Like they would just be walking across the little bridge across the moat. But it would be the day that it like I tell people to mm-hmm. just like drop them in. Yeah. You know it'd be great. Is I f- I feel like you'd eventually get to this. You bring like be like bring me the strongest man in the land, and he comes to your core, and you're like, if you can't bend this sword, this broadsword, I'll kill you. And then yeah. he, and then he bends it against all you know defiance of your will, and then you you shoot him with a big cannon. Exactly. Anyway. I'd be the king that has the shittiest army of all time because I'm so jealous of of buff guys <laughs> that I have them all killed. I have everyone in shape. I have all the warriors killed because like, I just don't your, like how he makes me feel about myself. Your whole army is wearing and one basketball shorts. <laughs> Cake did come. They all look like Escalade. <laughs> Charge. I think I would, uh, because you could do something worse to a man than, um, you know, take his own life, is you can, uh, 
harvest his soul but he's still in his body you know like you could put a knife to a man's throat and make him suck a cock mm. in like front of his family mm. and then he would never be able to look them in the eye the rest of man, his life imagine, that would be funny imagine how good that would feel though to make a man suck a dick yeah at, with a sword to his neck and to be like man and it's I'm, your dick yeah <laughs> <laughs> be like man I'm the closest to God any man's ever been that's what the death penalty should be is all the families are waiting in this dark room and then through a pane of glass they see a guy come in yeah and they strap him to a chair and they just make him like watch gay porn on a TV no 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 it should be they, they put him in like one of the, the from the fucking um, glory Green hole mile. No, the glory hole, like, fucking porn videos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a dick comes through. He has to suck a dick. And then they blow his brains out. <laughs> the second the guy comes, they blow, they shoot him through the back of the head, and it blows the guy's dick head That's off fair. on the other side. He has to suck off a huge dick until it comes. Yes. While someone reads him his last uh, will, and te- uh, will and testimony. Mm-hmm. Or and right when, the guy, right when the guy's about to come, they wheel in his, his old mom, and she's like, oh, Philip. And he's like, Bob. And then they blow, his, <laughs> blow the fucking head off. I saw like Magnum. I saw the last words of some guy in Texas recently that they killed wrongfully at the mm. death penalty. It was like I love chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last words. You go to the side of last words for Texas. It's like chicken fingers, yay! <laughs> and they're like he was uh, fried to death. <laughs> Spaghetti. Yeah, they, they fried him real good. Yeah, you got any last words, boy? Can I do, 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 draw in my crowns later? <laughs> <laughs> any last words? Kitchen. Kitchen. And then Greg Abbott walks out in a big mech suit. He walks out. <laughs> What's so funny? Texas is like the most masculine like state. Like their whole thing is machismo. They only like the gayest fucking governors. Like Rick Perry literally sucks dick Super in gay, alleyways yeah. behind dumpsters. Greg yeah. Abbott is it like a slip and fall scam gay retard? <laughs> yeah. I hate like it. Like it's fine to be like feminine or whatever. But if your whole thing is like machismo, like don't mess with Texas, you can't elect like a crippled gay guy. Makes no sense. Well, does, How Rick, do we, Rick Perry we, just got elected for the name of his ranch only. <laughs> Do you know the name of his ranch? No. Look it up later. You have some. It's it's literally Inward Head Ranch. Are you serious? With the hard R. That's the name of his ranch. And he hasn't God. changed it, and everyone knew that. Mm-hmm. Yep. He was yep. defending it in the press because they're like, "This is offensive." He's like, "It's an old family name." He's like, "It's what I ran on. It was my it was my campaign motto." Mm-hmm. What? Really? Yeah. I swear to God, this is real. I swear to God, you can look it up. It's Inward Head Ranch. Yeah. Which is the name oh, of David Lucas's new special. <laughs> Oopsie, oopsie, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> what were we talking about? I Greg, Greg, governors, governors of Texas. So, Greg uh, Abbott. Executions. He's, Greg Abbott's like crippled and shit. And. Oh, yeah, but uh, you should just make a man be gay, and then he, like, that's the death penalty, is then he's just gay. Mm. And then they just release, then you just get out of jail. What if he's like, oh, man, you actually, like, changed my life. I love this. It was deeply caused. Do you ever wonder why you. we don't, then they kill then they kill why as a, as a punishment we don't paralyze people? I've thought about that. That would be kind of like half people's half legs. death penalty. Like it's not death, but we go like you know. Yeah, we're gonna. You can be. You're gonna. You, you ain't running no more. Yeah, like yeah. You, you better like uh, you know think about some ramps. <laughs> Dude, if we blinded people, that would actually be blinding. Pretty like, like, why, like, if you're a pedophile, we fucking poke your eyes. Yeah, out like, why pokers. don't we just make them live a life of of suffering? You know what? Mm-hmm. I've always and then we wondered? don't. We refuse to teach them like braille. Right. We just set them free. Go, in it's, the world. Ill- it's illegal if you learn braille. Like, we'll shoot you if you learn braille. <laughs> you can live. You're blind, but you can't learn how to <laughs> like just communicate. Treat them, treat them like a slave. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's because sometimes I feel like the death penalty is too easy. No, we got to do it. I'm not a fan of the death penalty because I think it lets people off easy. Yeah. Because there's no like hell or heaven, probably. It's bullshit. Like a a guy goes to prison, right? For like, he's like a tier one offender or tier three for being a a sexual offender, right? Hmm. Which means he was violent against a child. He like assaulted a child and like, Hmm. you know, did something that. Where do you, you know, know the tiers? There's three tiers. Mm. Mm-hmm. De- depending like, on the... It's uh, like hurricanes. Mm-hmm. And you've this been trying ca- to get how fast they're spinning yeah, this is a categ- as they're doing it. This is a category yeah. four pedophile. And you've been trying to decriminalize <laughs> tier three, like mushrooms. <laughs> You're like, it's, and they, they, yeah. They're too strict. Bids at a rally, like, legalize it, man. <laughs> Tell me this. A guy does that. He gets out of prison. He goes on a list or whatever. But... 
the guy can still buy uh, Viagra. Mm. Why would a pedophile be allowed to? There should we'll be, be some sort I'm... of background test where you shouldn't. You you should actually be forced to. You should be like neutered or something by the government. Well, they should right. be allowed to take. Viagra. I think they will do that. Actually, chemical castration is a thing. They do that. The pedophile. I think in some southern states they still do that. Yeah. Really? Where the they're pedophiles like, get neutered? They're like, we'll let you out, but we're going to give you like pills that make your dick shrivel up and fall off. And so he has mm. to take them every morning. He takes them every morning. Then he becomes Dylan Mulvaney. Dollars start rolling in. Yeah, that's a joke. I'm joking, but so, I think that's a real. Yeah, thing. yeah. So no, this is a thing in Texas where you get out. They make you take those pills that make your balls fall off and develop a pussy hole. Then they ship you to California and you become a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> oh, nice. and you start reading to all the kids. Ben, you should start writing yeah. for libs of TikTok. That uh, lady who got that like kid killed at that one school. Thanks, man. Yeah, I have yeah. some of the top comments under Stephen Crowder's uh, YouTube clips channels videos. <laughs> What did she That's do? me. That lady that lives a TikTok. That she like Shia, you know, Shia, Shia Rachik or whatever. Yeah, I actually didn't look into it. I I don't know, but she just seems like a fucking. She seems bag. she seems retarded. I mean, yeah. I, you know, I just, think she doxed the kid, and then the kid yeah. like got killed. I mean, she school. got a little too like like talkative. It's like just repost the videos. Yeah, you know, exactly. just repost them. Nobody yeah. needs your opinions. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. I mean, what are we Tim Cast? We're we gonna do a three hour breakdown. Are we supposed to put on beanies and just be insufferable and talk about? Like, I don't even. I, know I, like, I don't know what's going on with that show. I like what it is. Tim Cast. I like Tim Pool. It's the Tim Cast. It's the Tim Cast. It's like the needle drops for like shitty political opinions. <laughs> it's just like Anthony Fantano like like breaks down trans people. Yeah, he's like he's like yeah, you see, it's the video on trans <laughs> yeah. people and he's wearing a red shirt with didn't, the crosses. Didn't love the beats. Too many 808s too with many this 808s. trans person. Balls too big, chin too round. I give it a 2 out of 10. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I've ever watched the Tim Cast. I know he was on Rogan a lot with his beanie. He's like if yeah. tw- he's like if Twitch from South Park had like a show. Yeah, he's he's maybe the least likable dude in all of that sphere of of uh, like broadcast. Well, and stuff. all of the, not all these people start like like they care about anything uh, getting done or like 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 the, the right thing happening in their opinion. But if that ever did happen, they'd have no job. Mm hmm. Like oh, if, they don't care. if anything was fixed, they'd have no job, and then they'd be like, "Oh, okay, I guess there's nothing to argue about." Like they need things to be fucked up forever so they could then grift off of everything yeah. being bad. It's also the thing, like if you actually up. had the re- like the real opinion, like if you actually were a conservative, I'd be like, "Okay, you know, whatever." But I do think it's a lot of people being like, "Oh, what is every like you know what is every white woman at you know Cal State Fullerton yeah. like?" I actually hate that. Fuck you. You know? they're, they're licking their fingers and putting it up to the wind. Yeah, you're a grifter retard and yeah. you fucking suck. Yeah. You know. You guys won't change anything. Who, Tipcast? No, no, I think Tipcast is going to be the revolution, actually. Timcast? I think Timcast is going to change the world. Mm. But, yeah. Yeah, because he's, he's having on. Yeah, he's having he, on he rappers a, and almost getting decapitated by yeah. him. That's going to change the world. I like when when he has on R.A. the Rugged Man and R.A. the Rugged Man goes, oh, dog, I'll fuck it. Fuck you up, dog. Yeah, he turns into fucking good time. Yeah. Well, Tim has a fucking musket behind him for some reason. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, just, just because he loves the... Uh, the uh, the, uh, he, he loves to fuck muskets. <laughs> <laughs> He's gay for the American Revolution. He, he fucks, uh, yeah, Revolutionary War. Is he even? Is he Canadian? Is he like, or is he from America? They all are. None They're of not are from, from here. here. Like Ian Miles Chong is, you know, fucking getting executed by the Malaysian government. Right? Yeah, unfortunately, that was a rumor. I wish that was Damn. true and he was dead. Dude, that would rule. That, that would rule if he well, got killed his... like Gaddafi and we got the video of it. Didn't his account get taken over by his family though? Like he was like gone for a little bit, right? Ian. Oh, he had to go wow. lay eggs in a big lake somewhere. Miles John, yeah. yeah. No, he was working on a big piece of cheese <laughs> for a few days. <laughs> Got kind of a glue trap. Had to cut him out. If I came across a guy like Ian Miles Chong in the woods, I would kill it. Ian, <laughs> Ian looks like he should live in a big fish tank and swim around. I know. Like his yeah. body can't support the, when the you, gravity. When you see Ian Miles Chong like in person, you go, oh, he's got the three red dots on his head. He's venomous. You don't. That's not. He's a bad yeah. one. It looks like you should catch Ian. You can't. Grab him by the mouth and then thread him through a big thing yeah. of string next to other you fish. You look at him versus every other Malaysian guy and you go, is that a milk snake or a coral snake? <laughs> You go, if red 
your dad. I can't, I can't remember. They're all kind of if built yellow, the same it's way, mellow. But, yeah, but I've never seen a guy evil. whose his body looks like a chainsaw sculpture. <laughs> like a guy made him like like going up and down his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making him. Yeah, you want to put him on a stump and crack him down the middle with an axe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to actually fucking split him like string cheese. He literally looks like you could grab the back of him and just hold him like you're palming a basketball. Yeah, and then just fucking spike him onto the goddamn. I ground. literally picture him posting all day from a high chair that babies eat like Gerber baby food on and like smash mm-hmm. like like mac and cheese. In another day mm-hmm. and age, he would be firewood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always funny because he'll always post like he's like cut Cheetos and wokeness out of my diet. This is the result. I'm like, you look like a mud creature. <laughs> you look like dog sh- fucking shit. He's the ugliest guy I've like, maybe ever seen online. And then Elon Musk, who is debatably the most influential man in the world, is commenting under it like, you look excellent, sir. You look excellent. You, you look epic, actually. You look epic. I'm going to go design a car that's retarded. <laughs> that kills people. That kills people. <laughs> did you see the one guy? Um, I'm going to get called the cuck so much for this, but did you see the one guy who tweeted he got the new Cybertruck, and he tweeted a picture of it being towed away. He goes, Elon, love the new Cybertruck. It's so fun. Little problem. Um, the steering wheel actually locked, and the car shut off while I was on the highway with my family. <laughs> Seems like a bit of an issue. No, people are locking themselves inside it and accidentally hitting a button where it becomes a microwave. Yeah. And they all like, <laughs> <laughs> they all explode like that scene in Gremlins when she puts the Gremlin in the microwave yeah, and start. They're, they're against the glass, and you can see it like, blowing up like Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> and then they pop, dude. Fucking um, who's the yeah. old old uh, gay uh, Republican senator? Um, the, uh, the guy who looks like a turtle. You know what I'm talking about? Mitch McConnell. Oh yeah, his. Yeah. Sorry, sister, I don't know anything. He looks like a D shell turtle. Yes, yeah. he does. He looks like a blue crab, blue shell crab. Um, his sister. He looks like he would come in a sushi hand roll. Yeah. Like, yeah. Can I have the McConnell hand roll? <laughs> he looks Not like that. he. Look, and a Japanese guy picks up M- Mitch McConnell naked and puts him on a big piece of wood. Go, hey. <laughs> and chops his he head looks off. like some of the seafood that's at like an extremely Chinese restaurant where it's still twitching. And where you can't tell if they're from this planet. It looks like Galaxy Galaxy Quest food. <laughs> um, no, his sister in law, who's like a billionaire, um, died last month because she got she was on her ranch, got locked in her Tesla, couldn't like get it out because of like software shit. While it was driving into a fucking lake, oh, and she just got no. like trapped. Not oh no, no she's a fucking billionaire. It's a, oh, that was yeah, obviously yeah. that was obviously like a murder. I think. Oh, was it? I just feel like, like they, a were, Ted they were thing? like they were like, hey, Elon, just can you lock this, make this car's doors not work tonight? Okay, well then that that is pretty. We cool, have a Chappaquiddick thing going on <laughs> here tonight. What is, Ted's dead, and we we you know or we think a robot could do it better than a Kennedy. Yeah, I mean the the Cybertruck is like a it's like a human popcorn machine. Yeah. People are just popping inside of them. They 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 don't they don't crunch. So you just splat like a bug on the mm-hmm. on the I windshield. So it's bad. great. Yeah. We need this see Patreon that, to go up. You so see I the can one afford a car. I we should I need a cyber. Truck. We should drive it right into the Beverly Hills Hotel like that other guy. Yeah, that was so. <laughs> Dude, I, th- I saw that on the news. I was like, did I relapse last night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde thing, mm-hmm. but it's just for Mickey's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it is... I saw that picture of the, of the Cybertruck crash into the Beverly Hills sign. I was like, "This is the this is the greatest picture I've ever seen in my life." It's so poetic. It's, it's framed beautifully, oh, dude. It looks like our version of the like the Great Depression woman with yeah. her kids staring off in the distance. Yeah, yeah. in yeah. my opinion, it felt like the the people kissing in Times Square. Yeah, the, like when the, when the sailor. The, yeah, the sailor kissing that girl. Yeah, yeah. You know that famous photo in National Geographic that guy took of like the little uh, like African kid who was with like, the green eyes. Isn't he like hunched over in the dirt like a like a bony vulture? Oh basically? yeah, there's a, it's a bony little starving Marvin kid, and he's about to start to death. <laughs> well, you know what I mean when I say that. You know what he looks like. <laughs> it's an economical choice of words. Supposedly that photographer, because that's an insanely right. famous photo. And there, so he's he's over a bunch of bones. He's a little tiny, about to die, African baby. <laughs> and in the background, you see a vulture like looking at him, waiting. Yeah, it's one of the most brutal photos I've ever seen in my yeah. life. Yeah. So anyway, the photographer Fuck. did what? Just the way you're describing it. 
with a smile you're on You're describing it with like enthusiasm. I know. It's, like you're selling me a house. I know. It is how like the Candyman <laughs> killer from Houston would describe it. I'm like, so it's a little African boy who's starving to death. <laughs> and get this, there's a vulture in that background. So that photographer... Do you, do you know this story? Yeah, that, that he killed himself. He took he took his own life because of that uh, uh that photo. Apparently, he he killed himself. Wait, what? Because he took a photo of some tragedy. It was the most famous photo he ever took, and I think very shortly he, after he took that picture because it like went around and made the rounds and stuff. And the he, kid died, and he felt remorse for not helping the kid, so he took his own life. Why didn't he help the kid? That's why I always wonder about these like documentaries and stuff. I'm like, you guys are filming the tragedy. It's like, don't you guys have money in your pockets? It's, give them the camera like, that you're using. Hand yeah. Them the camera. The village will sell it. Truly, like, at a pawn shop. Like do something. Like I don't. I never understand that. It's well, always kind of a sick exploitation. I always think, yeah, there is a moment where they stop filming the kid and they go, "All right, thirty for lunch, everybody." And then they like go to like the craft services table. Yeah, make a big sandwich. I've heard stories where people are like, they try to help out people like that. They hand them a dollar, and then like a machete comes in and cuts off the guy's arm. They yeah, just grab the dollar, and then they all. It's like a wild west. Like everybody pulls out. Like pistols. There's, that there's like a shootout for three hours in the town over the no, that's what, They go like, well, I snuck him a few chewy bars. <laughs> I and then it turns into tombstone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it, they, they, Cause they do have, there's, they get snack packs. They Come do. on. They do get snack packs. They, they, they are, those guys are living off snack packs. <laughs> they got the pretzels. They got the rolled gold. Yeah. <laughs> they got all that shit. It's like, it, it's a fucking set. Mm-hmm. The, the fucking the, sack. The is production a part of guys. It. Yes. That, that is funny. At the end of every day on a documentary shoot in Africa, because they have the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The food, the uh, craft, craft service. Craft services. services. They're throwing out all of the food at the end of the day. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The fruit, the pineapple, the cantaloupe. Yeah. It's all fucking going. They're pouring out gallons of coffee and there's water. Some, and there's literally a guy like if an African baby steals a chunk of pineapple and eats, he goes, ah, fuck, that's a violation. <laughs> fuck. And then he pulls out a gun and blows the kids out. We, we got to fucking bury this man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could lose my ass over yeah. this at Warner Brothers. You know what's even more fucked up is that happens literally at every single grocery store in America every single day. Because they're not allowed to take old food and give it to homeless people. I know. Yeah, that's so they true. put it. They throw it out in garbage trucks, garbage cans, and then they lock the garbage cans so people can't get <laughs> the food. That no one's trying eat. to get the food because yeah, people that's are totally fine to eat. It's totally fine to eat. We just threw it out because we're like, ah, fat people won't eat it anymore because it's a day old. Yeah, no, it's terrible. Yeah. I think we like throw out like eighty percent of the food we produce in this country. Yeah, well, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ra- well, no, the uh, rabbit anti homeless guy. Fuck American homeless people. <laughs> no, I'm 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 <laughs> but serious. When Fuck we're, when they're when these guys are in another country and everyone is built like a twig and they're like they're asking them questions and these people are like making they're they're making their own dawn dish soap <laughs> like in huts. Right. They're getting washed off like a baby bird in an oil spill. Truly, like, like what, like that? There's a Netflix production behind it, or like now these YouTube guys. It's like you guys have money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's weird to go in there and not feel guilty enough to be like, I, 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 let me feed everybody. But then I guess maybe if you feed everybody, they all explode, like giving like Alka Seltzer to a, like a bird. I don't <laughs> yeah. really know it's how like it works. When but... Pigeons get rice at a wedding. <laughs> yeah, they might all be so like they're starving so much. Feeding them is actually like evil. I don't even know what's Didn't going on. By, but, by the way, didn't that actually happen when we like liberated the Holocaust? Camps? Yeah, they, they were, they were, they were. Exp- yeah, yeah, man. We, yeah, I think that did happen actually. Like that's so wild because they were just immediately like, oh my god, <laughs> fuck, like get bread, get things. And then we gave it to them, and then they all like died. Dude, Damn, you go, you go for four years of the Holocaust. <laughs> And you survive, and you're like, finally, I'm saved. And then a GI gives you two Twinkies, and you explode. You get killed by a turkey sandwich. <laughs> Life is so crazy. Like, like you fucking ducked, and Hitler missed your ass. Yeah, and then you get killed by a BLT. No, I'm not kidding. If there is a god, he has like little tattoos he gave himself, and he's like burning bugs with cigarettes in heaven. <laughs> it's so fucked up. It's so crazy. Her life is so evil. Uh, if uh, yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I was gonna say something, but let's not. No, go, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no I'm just gonna say there's never been a holocaust for like white guys that's what I'm gonna say you know Jason's saying there's no god in Jews are white yeah Devin makes a Devin you can have the floor for the next half hour bud I'm gonna put on a timer no I mean I just don't 
I don't really get this whole thing. Like, are we supposed to measure noses? Like, like I've had you're Jewish. White. I've had you're quote unquote guy. Jewish friends for ten years. I didn't know were Jewish until four months ago Me because too. they started talking. Me I, too. I have Jewish friends who look like Rock Hudson, and they're like, "I'm Jewish, by the way." It's like a thing. I'm like, you can, are you? You can like add to the to the to the to the you know to the pot. Yeah, but it's. I'm just like you look white. Like, we think cops pull you over. Like, you fucking Jew. <laughs> You're white. <laughs> yeah, a cop pulls you over. <laughs> cop pulls you over. He's like, no, oh, interesting. You seem to be complaining at your window a lot. <laughs> how do you? No. How does anyone know? Yeah, I don't know. I'm. I can never tell. I. But supposedly that also they, makes me racist. Unless they have tell. the the bald spot hat on. Oh yeah, the kippa. The yeah. We got one right over here that a Jewish fan sent. Yeah, that made my head itchy when I put it on. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, he put like Vietnam powder on it. Yeah, Jews are white. They're white people. They have white skin. Mm-hmm. So like Devin, you do not know. He Listen, is- I was born. I went to Beverly Hills High. <laughs> My dad owns the biggest head fudge in LA. You do not know the trauma. One time a black homeless guy called me Jew boy, and you do not know what it's like to be me. Jews are kind of just like white people that like say they're gay. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of funny. And now you get like homophobia. You know what's really funny? On a, on a Halloween after that, uh, the their, their 9-11 that they think happened or whatever. the October, October 7th. October 7th or whatever. Israelis. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, uh, I was like, I was at Halloween with like my, uh, these Jewish people I know. And they kept being like, yeah, it's really, you know, it's because I, I like don't pay attention to like what's going on. They kept, all kept talking about how scared they were. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, it's a pretty spooky holiday. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty... <laughs> Like, it's pretty crazy. I saw a guy with like a Freddy Krueger mask. Yeah. They're like, it's just so scary. They, they see to, a, to go out today. They see a seven year old dressed as a ghost. They go Hamas. <laughs> <laughs> Whip out a gun. <laughs> they go. Did you see a guy posted on Facebook that he didn't like Jews? Mm. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. No, that's really scary. I know the people you're talking about. It was it was a year ago. <laughs> it was a Christmas party. This was before October seventh. I'm just saying I'm a hipster about my gay causes. I care about. But we were talking to one of your neighbors, and she was just like, oh, my God, we were in Israel, and the Palestines was so mean to us. Mm-hmm. And me and my girlfriend were like, don't you guys, like, like blow them up and shit? <laughs> <laughs> and they kept in, like, cages under the city. And she goes, when I was there, there was a car bomb, and a person died. And I was like, all right, whatever. Yeah, remember Jesus when we Christ. were, like, kids, and we put, like, fucking, like, uh, like firecrackers and anthills and stuff? <laughs> they just do that over there. Yeah, that's, that's the fucking Hamas is, like, one M80. By the way, I'm weirdly feeling nauseous like I'm about to throw up. And so we got to end the episode. I think I might throw up, and I don't know why. You said you were sick this morning. We almost weren't going to record. So. Can you guys do the plug? I think I'm going to throw up. <coughs> okay. Are you serious? Yeah, go for it. Holy shit. Go, hurry, hurry, hurry. Crazy you can go from being so cogent and racist can to you that. Guys just stop the recording once you're done. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll wait sure. for you to get back in because we don't know what button to press. Yeah, I have no clue any of this shit works. Um, so anyway, uh, we just want to say Ben's a disgusting racist. Ben uh, is a sick man. He's throwing up because he can't believe what he just stomached throughout this episode. He can't morally live with himself anymore, so he's trying to throw up his own soul <laughs> out of his mouth. <laughs> I'm like so confused. I don't. Ben is Ben. Kind of has like womanly traits. Yeah. Where you know how women like they. they Devin, you don't need to say another <laughs> word. <laughs> they say they're like sick, and then they say they're fine, and mm-hmm. then they say they're sick, and then yeah. they say they're fine. And you go, well, what is wrong? Like, is this a woman's your- physical health is like one of those pins you slide back and forth, and the like the image disappears and reappears. It can with the gust of wind. They it can don't change. know how to identify how they feel. They literally forget they have a period every month yeah once a month they'll be like i feel like putting a gun in my mouth i don't know what's going on and if you say like your periods might come on like you're gonna get like fucking dunked on well, then they flip the they fuck flip out the if you fuck ever out. acknowledge their period yeah and then the next day they're like so i i, I had my period that's what or they'll say i haven't eaten in 17 hours <laughs> and you go why are you being so weird like what's going on with you mm-hmm well, I didn't eat all day. I didn't eat all day, and I naturally have 1% of the iron I need to exist. I don't know why I'm dizzy all the time. Ben's having his period. <laughs> Get him some cranberry <laughs> some juice. Some cranberry juice. What fucking a, gay What guy. a fucking fanook. A fanook. <laughs> He he. This morning, Ben goes. I have a sore throat. Yeah, I think I'm fucking sick. So we were like, let's record. Let's tomorrow. record tomorrow, or you know, whatever mm-hmm. when we can. Right. And then he's like, later in the day, he's like, I mean, I feel fine. Right. 
But then, then look at this. Mm-hmm. He might be like, and then this is maybe punishment because he's been talking shit about third world countries. That is true. Time. It passed. You didn't throw up. Yeah, okay. Have you just been eating too much Chick Fil A? You I think? I think I'm, my diet's really bad, and I think I'm really stressed. I don't know. Okay. Well, we need to sign off the thing real quick. You want me to do it? No, no, no. I'll update the people to let them know. Are you stressed because of the fucking? Uh, because of the 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 finances. We've, oh, we've been finding out how much we actually owe. And oh, you guys? Like, we actually, we kind of realized we didn't make any money this year. Oh, did you guys get like <laughs> fucked in your taxes? <laughs> yeah, I'm fucked. I'm about to be. I'm fucked. Ben found out and he, th- he thought he was going to get some like kid, you know, fucking things where like you have kids and you get yeah, some yeah. money back and uh, no, it's like, it's bad. Really? Yeah. Because I thought mine was better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, but you like lie on TurboTax and shit, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Delete that. Delete it. But no, I am going to jail. <laughs> I will be in jail like Wesley Snipes one day. I'm sorry. We got no, to no, no. cut that. No, 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 no. we don't. No, it's, it's, a no, joke. It's, fine. it's a joke. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. kidding. Yeah. Yeah. I, like yesterday, I was like, <laughs> yesterday, I was like, uh, you scumbag. You all lie. You all, I've heard you talk about lie. I was heating up like Tostino's pizza rolls, and then I ate an entire bag of, of uh, cheddar, cheddar and cream. What are the orange Jeez. chips that are cheddar? Yeah, I know. I think that might be why cheddar. you feel a little. You're sick. drinking like fan. You're eating like Fanta chips. I know. Can I tell you? Can I tell you what? I'm pouring Fanta in a baking sheet yeah. and I'm putting it in the oven and then taking it and breaking it, it like hardens. Walter White breaking up the mat. And then I'm sprinkling right. and then, salt and, and pepper then, on no, it. You're you're cooking the Fanta and then you're putting a bunch of potato chips in a blender and you're drinking that. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I, I thought I was going to throw up. Yeah, I've been... Oh, God. I'm good, though. I'm good, though. I got to... I got to... I've been... I've been on a real tear with writing. I've been getting, mm. like, really, really good work done on my book. Sure. Uh, and then... So, I've been sitting down for massive amounts of period of time, and then I've been eating like shit, and then... And I looked... And then we figured out what our taxes were, and I was like, what? <laughs> like, I did... I, I want to like, talk what? to you guys about this I look afterwards. like a really shit... I look like... Katie told me how much we were going to pay in taxes, and I looked like a little bird hatching from an egg. Where I was right. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like all fucked up, right. like, like a molting fucking. Like right. haven't, <laughs> <laughs> haven't told her you've already spent the money. <laughs> what? Uh, I want to talk to you guys. I mean, you guys do because you have the hate watch money, and you have. Katie's money from last year, so you, well, you guys might get more fucked than I did. And that's actually cut from the podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love you, Uncle Devin. Uncle Jace, why are you so gay? Why do you kill yourself? <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, so yeah, the way it's basically working is since we all we all split the Patreon, but mm. the company is technically mine, I get taxed at a very high tax bracket. Oh yeah! I thought they were supposed to save you money. That's what I thought too. That's the whole point of the thing too. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I'm confused. uh, Yeah, it's very interesting times ahead. Mm. So now that I'm going to be taxed on fucking John's retardation. Well, if you guys need a couple a couple grand, let me know. I'll kick something over. I am on cameo. (laughs) I'm on cameo, guys. We're doing great cameos. Don't forget, you got to declare that for your taxes. By the way, I'm not on cameo (laughs) anymore. That's another thing. Yeah. Another you thing. start to resent the government. You, I don't even want to make money this year. No, because I, mean, I, I I'm, fuck them. I'm gonna bleed them dry. I'm not. Kidding. I'll show them. I'll make nothing. I'm well aware <laughs> of like what I'm about to receive that I owe, and I'm like, what's even the fucking point? I'm like, I, I want to tell you like enough of the live dates, enough of these things. Okay, wait, I don't want to make. Just can we stop? Keep adding a thousand dollars. We need a tour, but buddy. No, I know. I'm we kidding. It's yeah. just, it's I'm just kidding. crazy though. They make you like not want to try. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. They make you want to. It's like, creepy. Fail. I've never thought. I've never felt this before. Where I'm like, oh, you think you are doing it, and then you you pay way more. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, but Devin, think of all the services you get in exchange. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I. Still haven't bought healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, that's a penalty on your taxes. Dude, I that's know. Awesome. Dude, my healthcare is crazy but high I think with I'd, the baby. I think I'd pay more if I just bought it. And dude, I, the fine. I didn't get help with the baby and stuff because they think I'm like a fucking millionaire or some shit. I have like, mm. It's like, what the fuck? Right. I need fucking help here. Right. They're not giving it to me. Well, you they thought you were going to get a discount for being like a family man. 
Yeah, I thought I was going to get the Nick Cage discount. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I saw that movie. Yeah, and it's so funny you guys are ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ruined, me or you, Devin? Both of you guys are ruined. Oh, Devin's ruined because he has a non-profit set up for uh, uh, Joey LaFleur and John Knopf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I loved all the folks that hate No, Rush. they're great, but I guess I now that you told me what you're paying, am I going to be paying their taxes? You're going to be fucked. Yeah. But I but I got it, but I said I paid them. Right. I can't, I can't, Doesn't I can't, make any sense I, to me. I can't wait to hear from the guy who's like working at a machine shop making 18 grand a year. That is true. This. We sound like complete <laughs> cocksuckers. I'm not actually complaining. I'm just saying it's a little crazy. No, ben, no, no. It'd be ben, different. Then, ben actually is like, wait, well, what the fuck? Like things yeah, just kind I of wanna, hit at one I want to talk to you guys afterwards because I'm, I'm a little confused. It'd be, it'd yeah. be different if we weren't living in a uh, place where we're actually like lower middle class. Mm. Like if we like... So that's all I'm saying. Okay. Remember when we were walking out of Bucky's outside of Houston? We're like, damn, the lowest paying job at Bucky's makes more than all of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, that's crazy. We looked at that that. big sign and we were like, so the people working here, they're doing way better than us. (laughs) And we walked in like big shots. Like, we just had a live show. We're killing it. We made $400 each at the (laughs) the the Houston live show. And a guy guy with three eyes cutting brisk is like, if I made that much money, I'd kill myself. (laughs) Oh, I think I'm gonna throw up again. Yeah, oh, let's, no. end, end, let's the end, pod end it before you throw Maybe up. Maybe I've had uh, something about aspartame. They say aspartame is not good for you, and I just found out it's in Coke Zero. I love how you're like it could be the Advil. I also ate fucking 19 Fanta yesterday. <laughs> you just found out it was in Coke Zero. I had a whole bag of chips while my pizza rolls heated up, and I ate those. And while I was eating the pizza rolls, I ordered Chick Fil A. And then after the Chick Fil A came, I ate like three bowls of cereal. Ooh. But I read that it's because my glucose is spiking. Mm. Yeah, because you're giving yourself diabetes. Yeah, you are actually. It's so funny that I've also like been hitting the gym hard every day. I hope we just flip flop on each other. That'd be so <laughs> funny. That'd be so funny. Uh, no, but everything's actually everything's actually fine. It was just We're like a big okay. doozy. I'm doing fine. We're doing I'm okay. Doing fine. Yeah, and everything's I'm, fine. Let, and let the record show. I'm more grateful than Ben and Devin. I appreciate it. I'm more, incredibly so. grateful. I'm just. I can't. I, it would be gay if I didn't be like naturally like. What the? That's insane. No, no. I want to talk to you guys after. Great. After. For, and we're the only show that will talk that will speak this candidly. By right. Way. Come on. I don't give a shit. Whatever. I get it. I'm. No, this is the best I've ever been doing. But I, then I'm like. Is it though? Jesus Christ! Well, that's the thing. I'm incredibly happy, and things are going great, and I'm working on the things I love, and like I'm doing everything yeah. with my friends. But then the IRS is like, up, up, up. you know what this time, means? Yeah, time to be gay. You know what this means, boys? Austin, Texas. <laughs> Here we come, baby. Let's move to retard town and get absorbed by the retard machine. I'd rather just stay like above water. Yeah, than I think ever move. No, I would too. I know. I think that too. But then I have a kid. Well, you should. You're just gonna move, figure it out. We're gonna. It's not Austin. Listen, you know? we're gonna. Chase and I are gonna get. We're gonna go to the like the, like overdrive soon. We're gonna make yeah. this podcast. We're, we're, we're gonna. gonna all, make, we're gonna make it to the moon. I'm just saying we might be entering the stage of uh, lemon party that's called lemon party night country. No, no, no. And no we no. go up to the great state of Alaska. We are all, Alaska, and we all we let guys come inside of us. We're gonna hit another level. Mm-hmm. We're gonna hit another level, and, and our tax people. rates are gonna go even even high. higher, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I just think Katie might have to go back to work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. I've been saying this for months. I've been saying this the day after the baby was born. You kind of are like the stay-at-home dad. I'm writing all day. She's taking care of the baby. You can still hold the kid and then put it back in its thing and then nah, fucking do your stuff. Thing. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> put it back in the, sh- the fucking shit it sleeps in. I could just change diapers and like be like, back, 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 back. I, I love her so much. She's so funny. She's she's God. the best. She's fucking amazing. She's already my favorite person on earth. I hate both of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's so great. You go. I hate everyone I know because this thing is so awesome. She really is. You she kicks that, so much she ass. Kicks ass. You sent me that video of her squeaking the other day. I watched it like maybe ten or fifteen times. It was pretty great. She loves to just put her fingers together like this and look around and think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a very. Mm-hmm. She and she's re- thinking. She's like, I don't think I like these people very much. No, she gives me a look like fuck this guy. <laughs> I fucking hate. This she looks guy. at. She looks at Ben like, was I stolen? <laughs> anyway, let's end the pot. I'm getting. I'm getting so hot right now.
Yeah, and I think I need to eat. Uh, you need something. Now, when I feel like I'm going to throw up, I get a little piece of sourdough bread. I nibble on it like the monkey from Aladdin. You, and that makes is, me feel better. Here's the thing. You get so, <laughs> I think it's because it's just nostalgic for me. You get so that I into, pretend I'm a baby monkey than a cartoon. You get so into podcasts and you turn like into one of those dogs in the Iditarod. And if we don't stop you, you'll pod yourself to death. Your heart will explode. <laughs> God damn Joe Biden. God damn Gavin Newsom. God damn this fucking state. God damn this country. We need God, these, God damn the IRS. We need the tax laws to be changed. And God We bless need Trump back in office. Who damn it. actually passed the law that made this sex. Yeah, he's actually the reason. Yeah, he no, he well, passed the law in 2017 but he and it went into effect. No, this but year. he would appeal it if we elected it. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it only got. It went in because of Biden. That's right. Okay, but Trump put it in, but Biden didn't take it out. So what's that? You say? know what? I actually do believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's go assassinate a world leader. Yeah. At, on Patreon.com. Nice. Let's party. do that. Guys, sign up for the Patreon if you want to see us assassinate a world leader. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see our espionage missions where we try to assassinate world leaders, we're starting with third world countries and working our yeah. way up to uh, Switzerland yeah. at the very we're, top, we go from, which is the nicest place. We, to live. we go from least economic <laughs> successful yeah. country all the way up. Yeah, yeah. We start in like Swaziland, <laughs> just causing civil wars. <laughs> yeah, because we love chaos. Yeah, we're like, dude, I'm like the Joker. As we're screwing in a silencer on a sniper, mm-hmm. I'm the Joker. I'm going to ruin these people's I'm, lives. I'm twisted. I'm fucking twisted. As I'm screwing a Coke Zero on the end of my sniper, and they go, "That's the most advanced weapon we've had in Swaziland." Uh, Oh, you got the lemon socks on. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, for Lemon Party, the podcast. Oh, our, nice. the name of our podcast. Yeah, nice. Yeah. That's good. Uh, I in closing, I don't want anybody to think I'm complaining about anything. I love my life and everything's great. I'm just we're just we just talk about what goes on in our lives. So I'm not complaining. Yeah, I'm yeah. grateful for everything. I love everybody. If I died tomorrow, I would be Likewise. insanely, insanely uh, happy and proud and grateful. And yeah. you know, I'd go to heaven. I'd look down and I'd. I'd pit, I'd do a golden shower on all of you, mm-hmm. out of love, mm-hmm. out of love. I'd mm-hmm. I'd pee from the sky, and you'd mm-hmm. all open your mouths, and you'd gobble it up like turkeys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just press the button. Okay, <laughs> patreoncom slash party live for all the live dates. God bless all of you. Keep kicking ass. Uh, stay sober Bye, or stay fucked up. Whatever you want to do. See Keep you rocking. Saturday. See you Saturday. See you Saturday at the live Limit Party podcast, uh, March twenty third. Goodbye. Bye. Town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Nighttime would find me in Rose's Cantina, music would play and Polina would whirl. Blacker than night were the eyes of Polina, wicked and evil while casting a spell. My love was deep for this Mexican maid I was in love but in vain I could tell One night a wild young cowboy came in Wild as the West Texas wind